episode starts, I want to give a big shout out to Brooklyn. You feel me? Make sure you guys go tap in with them. I've done two drops with them. Multiple artists have done drops with them. Was Khalifa, the Mexican OT, Jay Worthy, some legends. You know what I'm saying? Shop Pro Club. Dot com. Go tap in with them. Go get your merch. Go get my collab. I'm dead inside right here. Psh. You feel me? Go tap in with them and enjoy this episode of Cheese with Duno and get your pro club. The most fitted, the most comfortable, the most thickest of all time is pro club. Three, two, one. Yes, sir. We are back with another episode of Cheese with Duno. That's right. First and foremost, shout out pro club. Shout out Big Chief, the sponsors of this YouTube channel and podcast. But them for right now because we got with the Jose Garcia in the building. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Diego. Que andamos con los hijos Garcia. Thank you for having us on. Oh, bro, thank y'all for coming, man. Hell yeah. We're we right here in uh, my apartment right now. Hey, shout out my boys because they came in there like, hey, bro, I look good on camera. I'm like, hey. we're going to make it work, Pops. <laughs> <laughs> How you guys doing, though? Doing all right, bro. Doing all right. You know, just um, aquí nomás, you know, echándole ganas finalmente aquí con los hijos Garcia, trying to levantar el proyecto, carnal. Um, and thank God, you know, to the people that still support us, that shit's taking off, bro. And 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 this is only the the beginning of, yeah. of uh, you know, the comeback of Hijos de Garcia in 2024. You know. I love that, man. Um, you guys are actual brothers. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Sí. I, just, I don't know. Yeah. Might be having sí, los man. hijos, los primos, and I'm like, y'all really related? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, <laughs> nah, we really are, bro. The padre y madre, you know, we're 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 real brothers. And actually, we uh, we represent our label, 48th Music, um, and Rancho Humilde. We represent uh, our other brothers that are in the grupo too. Yeah, right, we have two more. We have two more brothers. You know that song, Hublo? Yeah, yeah. The, the, no quiero que piensen que yeah, so, yeah. Simon. Uh, they wrote that song and they're cracking on that Little song. Farmers. Lo, okay, they did it with the farmers. They did it with the exactly. okay, farmers. Yep. The so, two other fools are your your two other brothers. Yeah. yeah. Same mom and dad, yeah. Wow. Yeah. You didn't so, have them on here, regardless. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's, that's my song right now. That's oh, right. Yeah. I you like, go. I'm, I'm, you know what? I, I'm, I'm with the wave of like, so obviously there's like this whole new wave, right? Where like, mm -hmm. you know, like the best, and, and, and it's amazing, like it's a little more upbeat, but I like though, I like a lot of the old song, like, I like Los Farmers. I like I like finding corridos that a lot of people don't know. Yeah. yeah. That, that's just like, that's like a little hobby of mine to where I have, bro, like if you go through my corrido playlist, I have over like 500 songs, and it's obviously it's the mainstream stuff, but then I also have like super in the cut, low key stuff. Oh, huevo, well, huevo. Well, well. I mean, my playlist look like that too. You know yeah. what I mean? Like all, all that, all that underground LA 2000s, 90s corridos, you know, that were bumping, yeah. you know, and all the OBSs yeah. and all that shit. Yeah. Like, that's, that's the shit that I do. Damn, so those are, those are your two other brothers? Simon, Raul, and Randy. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> How do your parents feel about it? I mean, they're proud, bro. I mean, they always, my mom always, uh, my dad always tells me that my mom was like, my, like, um, damn, like when we were small, she was like, she's like, I hope that one of them at least que, que nos salga músico. Y yeah. fíjate, le salieron cuatro. Se, 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 cuatro. cuatro. <laughs> le salieron cuatro. Hey, you guys have no sisters? <laughs> yeah. Sister. Once, she's oh. the oldest out of all of us. Oh, damn. She got it good right now. Yeah. <laughs> all four of my little brothers sing. Come sing. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I know you guys get like the regular questions. We'll get to that. But I, I've, I've always like, whenever I like, me mm. musicals like how often does your family make you sing at parties baby showers birthdays bro that, stuff like that that used to happen back so much day, back man. in the day carnal yeah. so much bro ahorita pues yeah we're busy and then you know we're we're everywhere now and stuff so and sometimes really, you miss stuff sometimes we yeah, yeah, uh, yeah not yeah, sometimes yeah. a lot of the time we miss yeah. stuff for like yeah. you know so it, it's really hard to to be uh in part of the family functions carnal for sure because you know El Jale nos llama, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, 100%. So, yeah. yeah, I've always wondered, like, especially, it's not like, okay, like a rapper, right? Like, you could tell him, like, play a song, but the DJ got to, like, it's, it's, it's a little more simple, right? Like, okay, here, put the ox and I'll just rap the song, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. But I've always wondered, like, what musicals, like, like, how does it, like, obviously, let's say, like, your parents book a, gru a grupo. Mm -hmm. Your sons are there, like, these fools are popping, like, sing us a song. Right. Like, like that's why I've always wondered, like, that. Yeah, I no, probably, I mean, for, for anybody to... Like, have a group or whatever, claro, tiene que venir completo, carnal. It's yeah. not just, like, an ox cordy or yeah. plug it to the TV and now, you know what I mean? Like, it's not yeah. karaoke, karaoke, you know what I mean? Shit. You need real musicians, you need actual mocinas, you need a mixer, you know, to, to actually level out, you know, all the sounds to sound uniform. And Practice, have everything set. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. damn, that's crazy. Yeah. I always wonder, like, damn, these would probably have to sing for their family functions all the time. We did, bro, la we neta. Did we did then, all yeah. the fucking time, bro. Yeah, because if you, like, like, if you guys, like, as, as you know, if it, 
was the guy's our first time meeting, but like I'm gonna have a birthday party. I'm gonna invite you guys. I might want I might ask for a song or two. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, I just send you a little bill, kind yeah, of. Yeah, I, 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 send yeah. a little invoice. Yeah, yeah, a little invoice. invoice. <laughs> no, but yeah, I, I've always like one day that like I remember one time I was at a, I was at a party. I forgot who was there, but there was a group of playing. And it's kind of like, I think it's kind of like paying homage to the group where you're respecting their craft as like, you guys kind of do the same thing. And I think when it comes, when it comes to like our Latino, our Mexican roots or just any like Latino, it's kind of like, yeah, it's our, it's our Hale or it's your Hale, but mm -hmm. like, it's still dope to be able to do it and be like, you're kind of like, so, like, I wish I could just go to my family party and just like have everybody shut up and I just start making jokes, but yeah. it doesn't work like that. They just, <laughs> they just ask me questions about the people I've met, but with you guys, it's like, if we're playing Baraja yeah, and a yeah. song comes on and we're all singing, like, and you sing, it's like, it's dope. Like, it's a little, you yeah, know Yeah, no, nah, thank you. No, that does happen, bro. Like, whenever I do go kick it with the, uh, with the homies or whatever, like, yeah, tienen un grupo tocando y bien chingón y todo el pedo. But it, 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 it is a crazy feeling, exactly how you're saying it, that like, uh, I'm able to go up there and I just sing, you know, a little song like Moreno Chenta, Cabezona de Azules, 18 Libras, Lujos de la Vida, like, yeah. like all of the little bangers yeah. that I have and shit. And people Big just bangers. fucking... Take the 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 phone out and everybody's fucking recording, bro. Like, oh, hijos de Garcia, you know, singing right here and shit, you know? <laughs> no, I did one song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm here to kick it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it, bro. yeah, bro. But um and and uh it's crazy to see the difference between a grupo que is doing their chamba and they sound amazing together, and then you just go up and just fuck around, bro, and then people, you know. Yeah, and then and of, then and then I think it's dope, like I said, for the grupo, it's kinda like uh it's kind of like, a, oh, that was dope. Like, yeah. Because them food probably went back in the truck while putting their away. Like, oh, we yeah. got that. Because like, <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure if the group was shit, you're not going to go like, oh, fuck yeah. it. Yeah, it's, like, it's like a cold sign, bro. Yeah, it's a cold it's like sign. A cold yeah. sign. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and I think wait, when it comes to like, when it comes to corridos, I think that's the beauty of it. I, I always try to explain this to like, um, what they call my black homies. Mm -hmm. I'm like, bro, um, uh, you know, rappers like if like if another rapper sing another rapper song or like something like that, they'll be like, "Oh, bro, you're stealing our shit." And yeah. not always, not necessarily. Obviously, like if Drake's going up at a party and singing "Ain't No Fun," like soon I'm gonna be like, "Oh hell yeah!" Mm -hmm. But like, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's a little more like, "Hey, don't like," you know. There's a lot of more like ego to it. Yeah, I think. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Me personally, and I think with Corrido is like, I think like like if somebody does play a Dice Ocho Libras or Moreno Chenta, and you're there, and even though they don't ask you to sing it, and they do a good job, you're gonna be like, "That's dope as." Fuck. Like, la neta sí, güey, yeah, porque... You're gonna tip your hat to them, yeah. A huevo, aunque salga bien o salga mal, bro, like, like, ponle que la canten más chingón, chingón que uno, güey. Like, I feel, like, mad respect for that. Like, damn, like, people, like, with, like, crazy-ass talent are singing my shit. Y también, para los que van empezando and they don't know how to play very well or sing very well, bro, that's fucking respect, bro, because, you know what? Por, por toda la raza, that's why we're here, you know? The, yeah. the razas that made us, you know what I mean? We're not, we're not over here thinking, like, like, oh, my music, you know, made made me what I am now. Yeah. The, the people and the support of that shit, you know? And that's and that's what's dope about it because I'm telling you, I be explaining to people all the time. I'm like, bro, like, when it comes to the corrido, at least, at least like, if somebody's singing your song, you like tell your hat off to them. You're not mad oh, wait, that wait. they did a cover on TikTok. Nah. Like, it's like, hey, <laughs> at, yeah, at, least yeah, not, at, least at least we're not. At least we're not. We're not. There's a lot of people that be mad about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even in the Mexican game, bro. A nosotros nos tocó, we, una vez, when we were, when we were, uh, coming up? like, barely coming up, carnal. Who? So somebody got mad at you guys? Yeah, bro. For that, doing a cover? They made us take it off, huh? They, Wait, made, they made us take off the cover. You guys uploaded the cover? Yeah. And they... <laughs> yeah. How, how, yeah. How, you, got, you guys sang it better? I Yeah, I, I think we did. We sang it better. <laughs> yeah. What song was it? Uh, it was uh, El Gallito. El Gallito. El Gallito by Los... I don't uh, remember I, the group. I, I forget their, their name, bro. Uh, Los de Huamuchil. Los and de that was originally their song. Yeah, he, and and Aaron called me the the singer. He told me he's like, hey, fool. He's like, if you guys don't take it out, if you guys don't take it off or whatever. He said that uh, Jimmy. Que, que, yeah, que Jimmy from Rancho. I mean, this is before we were even signed. <laughs> before anything, I we I, we weren't even fucking with Rancho. Nothing yeah. like that. Like nothing like that. You know. Y que nos dice, hey, que right now we're pushing that song. I'm like, bro, what are you talking about? There's hundreds of covers of El Gallito right now as I'm looking. Talking on the phone with you. Yeah. Nah, but you guys gotta take it off. These or else I'm gonna have Rancho Mila take it off, and they fucking took it off. Didn't take yeah, it, we had to take yeah, it, you know? yeah, we we took yeah. But see, like that's like my thing. People don't understand that you weren't making money off that. No. Nothing, okay, so no, nothing, so bro, to nothing. artists and to, because that's like even like the whole like bro. 
like I watch TikTok sometimes till 3 a.m. And I was Damn. watching and I was watching the Jose Torres shit, right? When yeah. he got mad at the kid, I think his name was Daniel. That's my name, so that's why I remember it. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, the dude that's with one of the with with like a whole empresa. And he got mad because he made it sound different. I, and he I, went on a ramp, fool. And I was just like, dog, yeah. you're still collecting our revenue, fool. Yeah, like, exactly. I'm like, you don't, bro. Exactly. If I hear a song on TikTok right now, as much as I like the fool that sings it. You know I'm gonna find this one, right? I'm gonna find yours first before yeah. anything else. Yeah. If you're fool, like I w- like, like <laughs> rappers can't do that. The, yeah. the advantage has to be taken by an artist like of a, of a lot like Latinos when it comes to Korea's, where like, fool, you know the music this <laughs> still goes to you. Yeah, yeah. it does. Yeah. yeah. When, well, when you have your contract set up right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you have your when, contract yeah, set up right. Yeah. He was with Rancho, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Which I'm like, bro, you would have collected all revenue. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. I mean, no hate towards that group, you know. Yeah. Sal- salud, yeah, yeah. saludos, saludos. But know, but it was one folks. of those things to where you you went through like that little first coming up thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where I was like, what the fuck? Like, you come were confused, on, dog. Man. Yeah. yeah, I thought he was calling me to congratulate oh. me, dog. <laughs> damn, motherfucker said take it down. I was God. like, damn. Yeah. Oh, cause he DM'd you with like, hey, what's your number, bro? Type yeah, two? yeah. <laughs> you were like, oh, we made it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, this fool was, <laughs> this fool was this fool was in the SMO, the first SMO, right? Yeah. And I was like, yo, we about to make it big, carnal. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. We about to Oh, but no, he's like, hell no. Nah. Hell no. Take nah. my shit down. Take yeah. Shit down. He's like, you Damn. guys sing it too good. Ah, shame on you, bitch. Shit. We was on the other three SMOs. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> nah, but that's, but there see, like, and you know, let's keep in mind, right? It, I think when, it, when when people think of groups, I'm like, you got to think of everybody else. So who knows, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. But like, but that, but I think that happens. That happens. Like, yeah. I've made a skit before where people did not like it. And I thought it was funny as shit, but I'm like, maybe not everybody has the same sense of humor as me and my friends. <laughs> and that's, yeah. and that's, so that's happened, something, yeah. 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 You got to you gotta deal with those, you know, little shortcomings where it's like, fuck, you know, I thought it was going to work and it didn't, you know? Yeah. Damn, that's a trip. Where are you guys originally from? South Central. South Central. Yeah, getting up 40, 48 and Hooper. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. the low bottoms. <laughs> yeah. Damn. You guys ever know yeah, yeah. growing up? Huh? You guys never Nas did growing up? No. Nah. Yeah, nah, nah, we yeah, got out of there. Like, honestly, our, our, our parents uh, got us out yeah. there before we could do shit like that. Yeah, okay, okay. So yeah. originally you guys grew up in South Central and then you guys moved out. Yes, yeah, yeah. sir. We went yeah. to Vegas. Okay, yeah. and and big, big change, right? Yeah. Huge fucking change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge change. But I think in Vegas they Nas it too now. <laughs> not like not like 48th and Hooper for sure. Yeah. No, no, fool. Compared to where we came from, though, yeah. it was it was like we were living with the whites. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like we were still in the fuck. We're on the east side, though. We're in the east side, so it's still hood. It's still hood. It's still hood. I've been there. It's ghetto. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, me there. That's north. That's, that's too much. That's bro. north, bro. That's north, bro. North is the fucking ghetto. Is part of Vegas. Where do we go for the swami shit? That's north. We went to some swami where we had to pay. It's an indoor swami. No indoor. Oh, it's probably east side then. It's probably yeah, the indoor <laughs> swami. Like, yeah, let's shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, shut up, shut up. Yeah, I, 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 think, I, think, I think it's the an indoor fuck? swami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indoor? Yeah, and yeah. we paid like... Fi- like f- no, we paid like a dollar fifty cents to get in. Was it called the Fabulous or the fami- uh, Famous? Something, but but it was hot Famous? outside. That's, uh, that's still north, right? That's it's normal. white. It's white. It's big as shit. Yeah. Everything. I bought a sick ass Dodger jacket from there. Like, yeah, I, <laughs> that yeah. shit, that, I think that shit's still normal. Vegas, Vegas is grimy. People, bro. That's what I try to explain to people. Bro, there's a ghetto everywhere. Obviously, Los Angeles is gonna be LA, but there's a ghetto, and that shit was ghetto, fool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no. And, and the East Side is nothing but raza, carnal. Yeah. In the East more Side, more yeah, nothing but raza, bro. Um. But yeah, that's where we that's where we grew up, like our you know the 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 teenage years type of yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, parrilla yeah. type. Yeah, it, it was there, you know what I mean. So, but it was it was way more like regular civilization type shit. Well, yeah, yeah there was there was gangs and, and, and shit, shit there, there todavía, yeah. pero nothing like nothing what compared. the fuck we were going through on Forty Eighth Street. Gonna yeah, be. nah, Forty Eighth and Hooper is crazy. Yeah, <laughs> be it like like me being an LA kid, like. There's a lot of places where you like I you, like as a tagger I'll, I'm I'm trying to paint everything but you shouldn't go you know not yeah you just tread lightly a lot of different places like right, uh, okay right. you know I might have to maybe like you know maybe ch- like you know what I'm saying you just gotta you just gotta be a little more aware of certain places yeah, yeah, like right. if I'm tagging in like West Hollywood on some billboard like I'm a little more I'm calm for mm-hmm. West Hollywood yeah, yeah but if yeah. I'm tagging on a really nice billboard on 48th and Hooper I might. <laughs> <laughs> every, every letter I might just have to you know, really. every you know like, the, like the like the like the fucking meerkats you know how, yeah, how, yeah, like, how they, they dig and, they're like, and then they fucking yeah. dig again yeah cause, cause I'm for, on, on, in West Hollywood I'm worried about the cops yeah West and Hooper I'm worried about the hood fuck the cops I'm gonna get a ticket maybe go to jail but I'm, these, these motherfuckers are my kid you know what I'm saying yeah. so he's yeah. gotta be aware but 
growing up in Vegas, is that where you guys found the love of like para la música? Like this is what this is what. I found the love for music, bro, in, in L.A. Back when we were still living in L.A. Yeah. I was maybe like in second grade, carnal. Um, shit, what was I? Seven years old, por ahí. My older brother had gotten into an accident where he where he got... Um, the singer the, from my school. The singer oh, from okay. Raul, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, he got hit by a car. Uh, well, not hit, like, like in the street. Like, uh, the car, like, squashed him, like, in, with a building. Yeah, yeah. And it broke his shins and it broke his femurs. Oh. Yeah, so four places, and el estaban yesado, like for, I want to say a year, a year and a half, yeah, but I think I got it wrong. I don't know. Uh, yeah. But it was for a long ass time. In my, in my child brain, yeah, I yeah. thought it was for a fucking for eternity. Forever, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So my dad bought him a, a piano, para que se distraiga, so he could, you know, like focus on something else. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, so you can't walk, so you're like, fuck. You can't yeah. do shit, yeah. So, so uh, my brother was getting it ASAP, and he had a little music book and shit. He was learning how to read notes and all that. And I, I was super interested in that shit. I was like, man, like, can you teach me some of that? And then he would teach me, and I would catch on, like, super quick, right? Um, y también, I would fuck around with, like, the little drumsticks, and, like, I would turn over, like, some little... Some little trastes, you know what I mean? The, the my just mama. fuck around, yeah, Just yeah. fuck around, listening to my dad's music in the background and shit, and trying to follow it. That's where I felt, that's where I felt the love for, for uh, Mexican music. There's a, there's a Mis Inicios was right there, bro. And then yeah. I started picking it up, yeah, Machin. Once we, once we moved over to Vegas, I kind of dropped it a little bit. I still love the music, but I didn't really see myself, you know, playing anything until maybe, um, I want to say I was like maybe 12, bro, where... I would see my brother Raul, the same one. Yeah. He, he would go out a lot, like with his friends, and and he was already in the in the music yeah, and shit. Like, you kind of like in the mix. Yeah, it was when Duranguense was like a todo lo que daba, carnal, que Montes, que Capaz, yeah, yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, 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 all that. Yeah, yeah. That was so, a crazy time for like, <laughs> like, like the kind of like quote unquote corrido scene. Yeah, 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 yeah. Scene, yeah. And uh, so he would be part of a grupo, and I would be like, fuck, man, like I wish. I wish I could go play. I wish I could go do something. You know what I mean? And then I would see him, you know, bring back money and shit. And he would go play his piano, you know, like the con lo duranguense with the whole group that he had in in uh, in Vegas. And one time I, I would tell him like uh, I would tell him like yo like what can I do like what what can I play? He's like well I got this little accordion. He had a little green accordion like the same kind that he plays right the teclas. Yeah. He's like sometimes I be playing with my compa uh, in the parties. He's like, and he plays a, a bajo quinto. Eso acompaña el accordion yeah, y así se hacen los corridos, yeah. you know? I'm like, what is that? What is the quinto? Like, you know? And then he explained it to me, and, and that just seemed like out of this world, bro, that like he was describing a guitar that had two strings super close to each other and then another row and another row. I couldn't imagine what the fuck that even meant, you know? And he showed me a picture. I'm like, that shit looks dope as fuck. I'm like, what does it sound like? And then he showed me a, a song, like, nomás acordeón y, y quinto, güey. Yeah. I'm like, that shit sounds amazing. And I fell in love with it, bro. Y de ahí empezó, I, I was asking my dad every day, like, can you please buy me a guitar? Buy me a guitar. Like, it don't matter. It could be the cheapest shit you could, like, you could ever buy me. Yeah. Like, I just want to learn something, you know? Mm -hmm. And Raul, Raul told my dad, he's like, yeah, let's, let's start him off with something, like, real cheap. Does he even, if he even understands it. Or likes it. Like, or likes it, Because it might yeah. have been like a thing to where like, I want, I want you. And then it's like a kid. You play with it. Oh, and then fuck it. Yeah. yeah. So my dad didn't want to spend, you know, all the money on a real quinto. Is he starting? What happened? We're back. Yeah. <laughs> no, so, yeah. Um, fuck. We're, okay. So my brother tells my dad, like, hey. You know, like, let's just buy him a, a, a cheap guitar. Yeah, yeah. You know, para ver si es que le gusta, if he even likes it, you know? Because what if he just drops it, like, ah, fuck, it's too hard or whatever, right? No, carnal, me metí de lleno, bro. We went to a fucking little swami, like the one you said yeah. type shit. Probably the same one. Uh, nah, it was the outdoor swami. Uh, Damn, it's hot in Vegas. You go to an outdoor swami, you got to really let a swami. <laughs> <laughs> hey, people love the swami yeah, out there, carnal. Bro, yeah, se I'm llena, we se llena, bro. Anyways, we were walking through, bro, and I see a guitar. The first guitar I fucking saw was a little black beaten up guitar, dog. And I'm like, that's the guitar right there. That's the guitar, Dad. Like that, buy me that one. And there was nicer guitars, bro. And I, it just so happens that I that I picked the most fucked up guitar, bro. It, it didn't sound good at all. That shit sounded muted, carnal. Like it, it sounded terrible. Yeah. And it was sixteen dollars, bro. And uh, my dad paid for it and everything. And I was so happy for bringing it back. And uh, my brother's uh, friend taught me the basics, like just the main chords. Y de ahí yo me la llevé. And I and then I would start following songs and all that shit. And then it got to the point where my dad bought me my first quinto, where he saw that I, there was improvement and that I really wanted to do it. I got my first quinto, 
And uh, I learned that shit again. Like the, the compa ese me, me, me enseñó the, the basic things yeah. off of it. And then I got all my style out of it. Y I'm gonna recio con mi carnal, bro. And that's how I started, you know. Sick. And how'd you fall in love with the accordion? I think watching my older brother, my, my older brother, el, uh, no, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not pointing at your mic. Bro. Oh, no, 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 I'm saying, <laughs> oh, I'm saying pick up your mic, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, you get out. No, like, he thought I was not. Nah. Nah. My older brother was a like, nah. shit, dog. He's like, nah, I'm, not, I'm not pointing at you. I'm not pointing at you. No, I'm like, I'm like, you're like, nah. Far as fuck, yeah. carnal. <laughs> nah, este, I think watching my carnal, the one that broke his legs, yeah. este, um, we used to play together. My first instrument was a, was a bass guitar. Okay. Paco Electrico. And, um... We used to play together. He was on the quinto. I was on the bass. Um, just watching him, bro. The people, darle la atención. Like, they were like, just, li like, literally la atención que le daban. And I'm like, man, I'm over here. Nobody gives a fuck about me. You know, I'm just over here chilling. Yeah. And they're all worried about him, right? And I was a kid. Wait, I was worried about that, you know? So, um, my brother ends up getting out of our grupo for some time. And um, I seen that. I'm like, man, there's an opportunity for me to learn. So, I didn't have an accordion, but we had an iPad. I downloaded the, an accordion the app. app. Yes. I, I downloaded the accordion app. And um, you know how an iPad, you swipe up, you could put the little windows next to each other. Yeah. I was going from a tutorial to the app, tutorial to the app, to, to tutorial, and that's how I learned, baby. Bro, there's, like, um, shout out my homie Beto. He's the one that, like, will put me on some of the most low-key corridos of all. And he, he, we always, like, we always give props to the people that know how to play the accordion. People don't understand yeah. that... It makes a different noise the way you move it. Definitely, yep. yeah. The way you move it, the how you move it back. If you press this mm -hmm. key in this way or this... Mm -hmm. So, right, we're talking about it. And and the homie Beto's like, him and Arely Perez are one of my favorite accordion players. Oh, yeah. I love how Arely plays. And then mm -hmm. I think he plays Tecla, right? He yeah, he plays Tecla. But I think he could do the other one, too. You, you say, you mean Arely Perez? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arely Perez. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So, and I'm like, and I'm like, and I'm, I, we're like comparing like the way you guys... Play. Mm -hmm. And I'm like... You're talking about, oh, Saul and Arely? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, shit, we're just going yeah. back and forth okay, on okay, different okay. accordion players. Oh, right? wow, yeah. you know, like... The food from um from the farmers, he's good. He's nice yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's it's a rare thing, fool. Yeah. yeah. For somebody to be cold with it. Yeah. yeah. And 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 there's like a ease to the way you play for you. Look so calm. I think naturally you just look calm. Thank but you. I was telling the homies like, cause I seen a video where you guys are playing like a, I think like at a backyard boogie and there's like a gang of people. Yeah, remember that? And 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 you're like you're just like you look you like you look you just look faded, fool. Like you're just like <laughs> and the homie's like fool, but and the phone is right in my face, right? Fool, but you're just like <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in your own world. world. Yeah, is yeah, it yeah. the one where that where that where that fucking lady takes the, the, the mic the away mic from me and end? she's like, Okay, you guys gotta leave. Is no, it that one? Is it? I uh, know. I think this one only showed that. I think I saw that video separately. I didn't know that was the same video. Okay, the that was the same was, video. The accordion was orange? I don't really remember, oh, yeah, but yeah, fool, yeah. you look, you're just, the yeah, phone's yeah, right yeah. here, fool. Like, yeah, yeah, I remember that, I remember that. <laughs> Damn. Okay, so you're playing. Yeah, it is that one. Yeah, you're playing, and then we're like, okay, like, and you're just at ease, fool. Yeah, you're like, yeah. You're calm, fool, you're just playing. And the homie's like, fool, that's like a really rare. And then um, I was like, I was I was at Yellow Room. Oh, yeah. Um, shout oh, out yeah. my homie Junior, he, he just wrote me a song. I'll play for you guys after. Yeah, that's right. He wrote me a song, and they had an accordion there, and he's like, and... And then the homies were like, that's one of the hardest instruments to learn, like, mm -hmm. to really be able to learn. And then he's like, I told you, look. Yeah. And there's a, you're just fool. Like, you just look <laughs> like you're in your own world where everybody's all like, after that, and you're just Yeah, like, I'm just, yeah, following. <laughs> but it looks player because, you know, you're just, like, I've always wondered how fuck, like, because you, you could, like, maybe stop the song and still keep singing. This motherfucker, he can't leave his hands. I'm yeah. Nah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm like, fuck, bro, that shit is like, yeah. I like. There's a lot of, like, when I pay attention to accordion, not, I, lo I love the, arco the accordion. I think that's, like, just me personally. I'm like, yeah. oh, that shit will pick up a party. Like, if oh, it does, Vietnam Way can stop perro, way, yeah. like, it'll pick up it a does. party for sure. Yep. I feel it, like every instrument is hard, bro. Tiene su chiste. Every instrument yeah, for sure. is just queriendo aprenderlo. Si quieres aprenderlo, I think you will, you know? It's going to be difficult, like it was for me. Super hard. But learning the bass before me ayudó un poquito, you know? Yeah, and the, but but I, I don't know if I still don't, I still don't, like... And we were fucking dibbling in that. The pendejo right there were just, you know, being tangas. And I'm like, oh, this shit looks... It's heavy. Yeah. yeah. That shit gives full scoliosis for sure. So, so when, when, when we had chamba, like... So here's a big transition that happens when you go from local to big time. Yeah. To just doing nothing but concerts, right? So when we were doing local shit in, in, in Vegas and L.A. and bouncing back and forth... We will be playing fucking Monday, Friday. Uh, sorry, not Monday. Uh, like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. A veces Monday type shit. You know, we only get like maybe a few days to rest. 
pero casi todos los días chambeando en diferentes fiestas privadas and everybody yeah. wanted us full and, and like hijos, de Gar yeah, hijos de García was the best underground group, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. jumping around. Um, Saúl, güey, aquí, so, so the way you grab the accordion, this oh, one, sorry. this one, um, toca las, la, los botones, right? Yeah, so yeah. how so, you so make the one, music so happen. a little more rested. Yeah, it's a little bit more, but I, I mean, I, I wouldn't know, I don't, I don't play, yeah. you know? Pero lo que yo sí sé es que esta... Se usa para... What, what do you call this whole part song? The bellow to go in and out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. To, yeah. to make these keys different noises, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay, you, okay. You, push, yeah. you push air in and out with this side. Yeah. So it's una caja that extends yeah. and comes in. Aquí, we, in la corner, it's literally like like if you have the corner right there, full digging into your skin, though. Y este way salía con un moretón aquí bien feo, carnal. Yeah. I, like I una dent. It, right it, it, it would be like a right dent right. también, bro. It's, And, and it wouldn't be a morete, it'd be like a, like it would, like, se levantaba. That shit would get, in, like, like, no, no, inflamado. Inflamado, inflamado yeah, carajo. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, like, like a chipote kind, yeah, kind yeah, of shit, yeah, yeah, like that. Because of how many hours we would have played, viejo. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. while while he was doing it, fool, that shit was in. Fool. It, look, it looked like a, it looked like somebody took a scoop out of his skin, dog. And, and is there a way where you could avoid that? Maybe putting, like, a, like, a, like a little, like. The way to avoid it, way, honestly, I think it was my mania of the way I played. I. I used to jalarle too hard because I started on like a cheap accordion. Yeah. So I wanted that shit to be loud. <laughs> oh, so yeah. I got my good yeah. I still played it the same way and, you know, perdí la maña de, de jalarle más, like, lento, you know? Yeah, so but I'm going balls out. So yeah, and then, but I'm, I'm assuming you put maybe like a padding? No, nothing, nothing. Nothing? Oh, nothing. fuck. The yeah. wood is round, though. It's not a 90 degree. It's, it's round. Pero todavía te chingas. Yeah, yeah. How, how, what's the longest you guys played? Because I talked to, um, shout out, shout out to from Los Desvelados. Oh, yeah. Shout out. Yeah, I, and we, I had them on, and they said they did like a whole day That's with real. some fools at the, at the Glamis, they said. I think they said Glamis or something where they, and I'm like, you fools played all day. He's like from Sunrise. And he's like, and he's like, we ended the next day sunrise. Dang. And I'm like, I said, we tell And you know, me being like, I was like, I was like, you food getting coconut. And he's like, neta, we, we, and he's like, he's like, I wouldn't lie to you, dude. No. He's like, as long as there's food, a little bit of sugar, uh, like sugar, and like some water, he's like, we're good. I'm like, mm. <laughs> he said, honestly, we didn't or we did? He said, we didn't. Oh, we didn't. Oh, But okay, I'm like, okay. mm, ¿cuál que me <laughs> <laughs> What's the longest you guys have played? Nah, I mean, the longest that I remember, bro, um, was back when we were playing with my oldest. Because, like I said, like uh, we used to be another group, Los los Cuatro Escoltas, with my older brother from from that group, yeah, from Hublo. Um, it was him, me, and Saul. And uh, that time, I think we played, for unos compas que tenemos allá en Las Vegas, uh, we played like 11 hours, carnal. <sighs> yeah, which is still a lot. That's a lot of hours, still a lot, uh, bro. 15 minute breaks and then just keep going. Is there a reason your your what's it called? Your other two brothers decided to do their own thing? Uh, can you repeat that? Sorry. Like, is there a reason they decided not to like do los hijos de García? Oh, like, well, there, so the way that a, the way that a group works, carnal, is that que no más puede haber un acordeonero. No, no, no. Why? You know? Why are we not together? Like Raul left. Remember? You could say. Is that, or is that yeah, what, yeah, was that your yeah, question? Yeah, well, because yeah. obviously you guys popped off. Right. So, like, I mean, I, most people would think, like, oh, They're our brothers. two other brothers play. Exactly. Let's just bring them with us. But that wasn't the case, that right? The case. No. No, yeah. But was, was there a reason for that or no? No, yeah. Uh, well, my older brother, the one that was in the main group that we were in. Yeah. Uh, when he got out, he got out two times. So, the f the first time was we didn't know what to do. We didn't have no clientele. Yeah. We're like, we're like fuck. Like, we just want to go, go play again. We would leave it all to Raul. Yeah. And uh, he came back and... Um, I, would, I told him, like, hey, we're going to play, but if you leave again, I just want to let you know that me and Sal are going to keep going. Yeah. Like, fuck that shit. Like, and, I, and I had a whole ass speech, and and I was like, I, basically, down to the, cut it, cut it short, I was like, this is all I ever see myself ever fucking doing Do for it. the rest of my life. So take it serious. Type yeah, I'm like, this, I'm like, I'm taking it serious as fuck. I'm like, I know we've been, because, bro, by that time, the reason why he left was because we were playing for years, bro years like since i was like 13 and then he joined when he turned 13 he joined the group yeah um we've been doing this shit for fucking years this whole underground backyard shit so it wasn't going anywhere bro we yeah, were just, yeah you, you guys you, know? you guys maybe felt like you guys had had like peaked already yeah as a, as a local band yeah, you yeah. know what i mean so so but i saw more to that i yeah. was like nah there's something that's gotta happen It's gotta fucking happen. Yeah. There ain't this much, you know, clout on the name locally for it not to be anything. You know what I mean? Um. And Raul didn't see that at the time. And uh, he still, he bounced again to work a, a regular job. And uh, I told Saul, I'm like, hey, you know what? 
Raul's bouncing. I need you to learn the accordion as fast as you can. Which I was already kind of learning. Yeah. Yeah. Speed it up. Yeah. 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 Like, like, oh shit, it's real now. You you skip like, you skip like, step. Two and three and went straight to four. Like on on hit the gas. On yeah, 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 I yeah. Hit the no- I had to hit the Nas way. <laughs> <laughs> hit the Nas, yeah. Yeah, yeah damn. No, nah, yeah, carnal. And then and then we formed Hijos de Garcia as a local band todavía, carnal. And and that shit blew up by itself in Vegas and LA. Um and then I write my first song, Lujos de la Vida. It blew up locally. Everybody la estaba rolando. And then 18 Libras. That well, shit took uh, nah. That shit changed the game. I remember I was in, yeah. I was in high school when that shit came out. Yeah. yeah, and I always talk about it with with people how like food just like now like I'm pretty sure you guys watch TikTok where kids are having fun. Kids want to go to music class now because they want to learn how to play a certain instrument or they're in lunch fucking having a whole tocada and shit. Yeah. I got a, I got something funny about that. Sorry, I didn't mean to yeah, cut go, you go, off. Go ahead. So talking about kids being in school and all that shit, that was us, bro. That was me and the uh, and the compas that I had yeah. playing in the in the school and shit. But we did it when at, at a time for where we would get like laughed yeah, at. Yeah, for we would sure. get laughed at, carnal. So, like, so was, oh, iban los paisitas y que la chingada también. Yeah. And I would bring my guitar and I'll be singing in lunch and like everybody would laugh at me that like they would be embarrassed. You know what I mean? Y unos unos que otros sí, like aquí los camaradas, yeah, they would be listening and they would be singing with me and shit. But I would see. The same fucking people that would be laughing at us showing up at our initial shows talking about, bro, you guys made it, que this and that, and or or DMing, que, bro, I always knew you you could do it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oh, really, no, motherfucker? Yeah. I'm like, fucking pero como te reías? Yeah. I'm like, como te reías de uno, cabrón? No, yeah, hombre. no, because, uh, and, 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 and at the moment, I remember when all that shit, because I'm, I, I've been, I've been in the, like, um, my homie Creeper, where I grew up on the block, I grew up with their family, like old school Correos food. Like, I'm not talking about like some shit to this day. I don't know the name, but if I hear the song, I'm like, oh, I remember that motherfucker. Like, Caletes, Fool, all that fool. I don't even know what the fuck he's bumpy, but they, 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 they talking like, gangsta shit thing. on it. And and I remember I was talking to him about it. I was like, I was like, bro, I, I was like early on on Areli Perez and I was listening to even like, I grew up with girls, bro. Like, I was, I was like, Oh, bumpy Jenny better. I was like, I, I've always liked that's the way, right. Um, yeah, um yeah. no pasa nada. Who, who, who fucking sings that song? Um, Gru- fucking Grupo Achesian. Like I was just, I was already yeah. on it because my older sister they put me on it. Mm. So I knew all those songs as as like as fast and there, but it was still like, it was kind of looked at like kind of like oh the little paisitas, you know, yeah. like, like paisitas yeah. into it, and seeing the whole thing change now to where motherfuckers is like. In school, I'm like, damn, motherfuckers. I never <laughs> seen that in my life. Yeah, dog. I, I just saw, uh, uh, it wasn't a TikTok video. Uh, it was an Instagram video, like a little short. But it was a bunch of these kids, fool, like like with Sierreño and shit, like playing some sick-ass music in the fucking, I think it's high school, bro. They look like chavalones like that high school. And they're playing these this music, bro. And white kids and black kids, fool, they're all like fucking going crazy to this shit, dog. I'm like, that's wild, bro. That other races are also fucking with this shit yeah, too now. That shit, that shit is crazy. Yeah. I even see when the little kids put the, the rubber band on their phone, and they and they play like the. the no way! I, I, I that's, the, that? that's the first time I ever heard of that. that? Can, can, can you find a video for me, please? So I can show him. You never seen that? Nah. Oh, I gonna see it right now. And okay, they, so then you like guys, the Bajoloche shit? Fool. Yeah. <laughs> That's I tight. swear to God. And okay, That's so cool. you guys blow up, obviously, like locally. And hey, that could be like another like another fidget spinner, bro. Technically, but you can sell no, it's like for real. Like, like sell like what I'm saying is like <laughs> like uh get a manufacturer in China and then tell them to make phone cases with the oh, with the strings like, with the strings attached, got it? Yeah, I'm going to do that shit. I'm going to do that. See, imagine you're a teacher and the fucking kids just yeah. sitting like this. Yeah, fuck it the fuck out myself trying to teach man. Yeah. Yeah, so that that's you found it? Yeah, I found it. Text it to me though. Text it when you find it. Um so then you guys blew up and then with your brother like, "Hey, what's up?" And you guys were like, "Fuck no." Nah, so we blew up for him. We kept going and shit, and, and he didn't. Um, he just congratulated us for he was he That's was ha- he that was happy fire, yeah. he was happy for us and everything. And uh, then like maybe what like two three years later, two two three years what? of us being in the game, uh, like yeah, in the big time, uh, he he tells us that he's gonna start the group again, his group, the one that we did have that he yeah. wants to start it again with Randy. 
our youngest brother. The the baby baby. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. And um, that the my, my brother was going to be playing the toloche and shit, you know? So yeah. toloche, and then my brother Raul, the accordion and singing still. Yeah. And my little brother Randy, I mean, he was a natural at picking up music and, and a natural at understanding the segunda voz, like how I did it. Um, we gave him a few pointers, taught him how to fucking really use his, his stomach to sing and and uh, he didn't want to, and we made him cry a lot of times and shit. <laughs> de, de, de frustrado, de enojado, pues, you know? And also, he's the baby, fool. Yeah. I don't want to listen to you, fool, either. Like, man, fuck you, fool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. but we were just trying to tell him, like, bro, like, bro, this is how you fucking do it. And he's like, no, this is how I sing. Same shit that I was saying, you know? Yeah. On some bullshit, you know? But, uh, but yeah, bro, they got their shit together, and, and uh, Raul made... Uh, that song Hublo, that shit blew him up, carna. Organic, that's just, organically. That's just hitting, fool. Yeah. That shit is hitting. Um, are you are you guys like, hey, bro, let's collab? Like, I mean, like. Yeah, we have we, we have done some collabs. We have done some collabs. They're signed to our record label. Huh? Oh, fire! Yeah, yeah we signed. Music. Yeah, so Forty Eighth Music is uh, socio de, de Rancho Milde. So we, yeah, yeah, we're like by we're like real kind of like, like, like kind of like a sister label. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Fire. Yeah. And yeah. So here yeah, I gotta show you guys this shit. I can't believe you guys don't fucking watch this. Andres, I'm going to send this to you so you can insert it. Uh, he's going to come out right now. Give me a second. Oh, here he goes. Watch this. <laughs> that, shit is, that shit is trippy. That's crazy, bro. And that's how you play it, with. Yeah. That's how you play it. That's really how you play it. Like, if you give him a, a loche, that's his how you technique, play it. His technique is correct. Yeah, he's a, it looks like he plays that, for real. Like, you know? That's just Yeah, he when plays that it, shit. That's wild. He when plays I saw that shit, I was like, fuck, no, this ain't real. <laughs> and, then, and then I asked my little cousin, and he's still like, he's like, nah, bro, kids in school just be like, yeah. I'm like, what you the fuck? I'm yeah. like, that's some wild shit, bro. That's yeah. Like, yeah, if I was a teacher, I'd be hot, big ass kids making noise in my shit. Definitely. But that's about, so then, so now that they're signed to you guys, how that's got to be like a really good feeling, right? Like, oh yeah, just just being able to 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 um connect that opportunity for them to be able to sign to Forty Eighth and Rancho Milde, we was saying. Yeah, it's algo that I I never imagined that even being part of our history. You know what I mean? But saying that we were able to help out our brothers in that way, you know, being able to to ponerlos en una posición donde uh, a major label, yeah. To a, 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 yeah, where a major label has their eye on them and they genuinely fuck with them, and because it didn't just happen that I went up to Rancho and I was like, "Hey, I got this group." Nah, they saw them organically because we would post stuff like, uh, like, oh, in the family function and shit, and then they would be playing or I would be singing with them or whatever. And uh, one Even of their, their videos that they had out, yeah, they had or some, they had some music out, yeah, or their videos. I mean, um, people from Rancho just started following them, and then they would. Contact me, they'll be like, hey, what's up with the Carnales, you know? And one of the big dogs, uh, shout out to Roque. Um, oh, Roque, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was like, uh, he's like, he's like, hey, viejon, he's like, I got, a, I got this family function, um, uh, and I want your brothers to play. Like, me puedes pasar el número de, de, de tu carnal, el Raúl. I'm like, Simón, le paso el número, ellos se contactaron, de, se pusieron de acuerdo, or whatever. And then for a few months, bro, my, el, el, el compa Roque, Jimmy, JB, los estaban jalando full, like, almost every month. Mm -hmm. Like, a whole bunch for, of fucking... For some holiday, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for some holiday. Just to, just, just to go play for them, bro, because yeah. they fuck with them heavy, like, like organically, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, luego se dio de que, de que Rocky uh, gave the idea. He's like, hey, he's like, ¿Qué onda? ¿Qué tal if, if we go on a, on a joint venture with them? Yeah. You know, I'm like, fuck yeah, I like, can need 48 in Rancho and let's, let's sign them. Y machín, viejo, así se hizo. That's, I, and, and I think it's dope, because I would have never known that. Yeah. I would have, like, never had a clue. So that's, like, obviously one of them, your older, your oldest brother. So the respect for him is, like, it's, you know, that's your older brother, fool. Like, I've never right. had an older brother, but I have an older sister and love her to death. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And one of them is your guys' baby brother. So he's the fucking, I'm pretty sure that's your mom's favorite. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah. you know, like, the yeah. love for him is different. So, I think seeing him do that thing is, like, you feel the middle child. So, no, you know, nobody really cares about you. Yeah, 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 yeah. you know, your older brother is the first boy. I'm the middle and, child, bro, so and, I already know about that. And then the youngest yeah. one is the, 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 oh, yeah, nobody cares about you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't give so a fuck about I you. can only imagine, yeah. like, being a, your mom being able to be like, oh, now they're all doing it and yeah. they're doing it together. It's a vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell, yeah. And your older sister, she's just, like, in her own world, like, ah, fucking singers. Well, she... 
she has her own. She has her own family. They run their own business and stuff. Yeah, and then and then there's a brother that's not in music, older than all of us. So it's a it's a sister, a brother, and then us four. Yeah, yeah. So it's six of us. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. Yeah. So the brother también tiene sus compañías, doing his own thing. You know, he's very successful. Yeah, with his family and all that. Um, and, and, and then it's, and then it's all the musicals. And then it's all the musicals. Yeah. Damn, sick ass family. Sick right ass yeah. 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 family. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, damn, your guys' dinners is active. Like, straight, <laughs> straight <laughs> animals, <laughs> they talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, la neta, I, I, you know, I'm, that, I'm grateful. You know, I, you know who I'm the most happy for? For your parents, fool. Yeah. Because yeah. me having like a, like a mom, I mean, I mean, I don't have a pause, but like me knowing like, what I do now and seeing how proud my mom is, I can only imagine, bro. Like, yeah. your mom's walking around with a smile every day. I'm pretty, I mean, like any life and family, there's trials and tribulations, right? But like, it's still dope as fuck. Like, all four of my kids yeah. sing and my my oldest daughter and son have their own business, their own thing. Like, it's amazing. I can only imagine. Well, I I can only hope that that my mom's happy. I mean, yeah, she, yeah. she passed not away. To, yeah, she not passed not away. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Motherfucker, say something. Yeah, yeah. Nah, she. So your mom passed away. Yeah. Was she that recent? Nah. Before we blew up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh damn! So you guys have your pops though, still? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh -huh. your pops is like yeah, the family together. Yeah. So um, we all are. Yeah, like we, a whole, yeah. A whole family. You guys have a group chat? No, 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 no. You guys gotta make a group chat. Well, in the brothers, yeah, but not my dad. My dad. Uh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, I'm like, you know? I'm like, bro, we have a group chat. Me, yeah. me, um, me and, and me and my sisters and my mom and this vibe. Yeah. yeah so nah. Maybe I don't know. Maybe an idea for the. We gotta teach my dad how to text and all that. Yeah, oh, my, God, bro. Man. My dad, my dad panics when a fucking alarm is going off on his phone, bro. It's like, come on, dad. You know, like, learn how to turn that shit off, you know? Yeah, yeah nah, he's old school like that. We don't know about, you know, like, smartphones yeah. and shit like okay, that. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, know. I think, I think, and, and again, sorry, I didn't know about your guys' mom. Yeah, but no, I good. think, I mean, I'm pretty sure, bro. Like, bro, that's, this is, it's a dope accomplishment. Like, yeah. and especially you guys, like, there's four of you guys and another two. And the way they're speaking about it is, like, you guys compliment each other's success, bro. It's, you're only, you're only like bound to win there's no losing when you got family that's as dope as you and like proud of each other you know what i'm saying Carnal, i think i think one of the major things that played a part into that is because uh the way that our parents raised us um yeah so uh, well my dad and my mom more than anything they they uh raised my oldest two brothers uh which is my sister and and, and my yeah. oldest brother yeah that he it was almost like they raised, a, they raised us, you know what I mean. So it was nothing yeah, like a domino effect. Yeah, it was nothing but like a, like a discipline kind of thing that that they instilled instilled in us. Yeah. Desde chamaquitos, bro, like to to si uno no iba a ser you know uh, uh, listo para la escuela, at least have a fucking brain to go make some money, carnal. Yeah, okay, you know okay I, mean? I like so, that. Yeah, yeah, like I guess that you know something. Y, y yo la neta, pues yo estaba pinche menso toda mi vida, carnal. <laughs> so, so I was like, fuck, like how am I gonna do it? Y pues la neta encontré algo que me apasionó, and I'm just very glad that I have that I have and and I had parents that uh in a family that that can apoyaba lo que queríamos hacer, carnal. Because there's a lot of families, bro. Unfortunately, donde when they, you know, bola, you see bola, it, yeah, you see it like, oh, you're never gonna do anything. Like, what the mm -hmm. fuck? Like, go find a job. Like, nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom and my dad, ellos empeñaron su, su dinero para comprarme my first guitar and all that shit. Like, they wanted us to do this. Whatever we, yeah. we felt like love for, they wanted us to follow. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I'm, I feel really grateful for that. Y, y, y que nos alinearon bien para to, to be able to become successful. Damn, you know? that's dope. That's dope. Um, have, have you guys ever wrote a song for like your mom or your pops? I like, still, like, I, I still, I, I wrote a, on our first album on the mm. Lujos de la Vida album. Okay, huh? Del de El Papá de los García, I wrote it for my dad. Okay, but yeah. and for your mom, you guys haven't wrote one. No, I, yet. I still, I mean, shit, I've tried and and I can't bring myself to write about it mm. yet. Yeah, I feel like I feel like my words aren't aren't worthy of what you know yeah. everything I feel. Yeah, I you mean, yeah, I mean? It's, I've always I forgot who I was talking to. I was talking to a rapper, and I was like, and he was and he was talking about like his like the things he's gone through, right? And I was like, you ever write about it? And he's like, and he's like, and he's like, fool, as, as many great songs you hear like that, he's like, they're fucking difficult to write yeah. if it really comes from like del corazón and shit like that, like from yeah. the heart. And I was like, oh yeah. And I, he's that like, shit. he's like, fool, that shit would, he's like, it could fuck you up. Like it could, you yeah. could get like a, like a writer's block to where then it's going to frustrate you that you don't write the right song. Mm -hmm. And I was, so I've always wondered like, you know, and, and now that I know about your guys' mom's passing. I'm like, I'm like, I wonder if you guys ever, I mean, or shit, maybe you have, and maybe you don't want to release it. That's what I was asking. Yeah, no, I, I've never, I mean, every time I've tried to get to writing yeah. something for, I just think like nothing that I can ever think of is, is, is like, that good enough? Is good enough. Mm. Yeah. 
Man, we're up here, mom, man. Shout out to your family. I think that's fucking dope. <laughs> and yeah, yeah bro, shout, that, that's sick. Fool. Are you fool, how far are you, Fusin? Sing? Team one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the best? Uh, Shit, I don't know them. I don't man. know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go, go. Don't have a nice ass voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sick ass voice. I want to give another shout out to motherfucking Big Chief Extracts. You feel me? Those are my guys. Those are our guys. That's my guy. That's your guy. It's our guys. It's everybody's guys. Worldwide shipping anywhere. Shh, you feel me? Go tap in with them. Big Chief Extracts on Instagram. The link for all everything you need is in their bio. Their IG is right here. Big Chief Extracts. Make sure you go tap in. You guys came up to a time to where, I mean, shit, you guys took over the world damn near. A long time, along, right. along with the Nathaniels and the Fuerzas and the Legado Sietes. And I mean, fuck, bro, you guys had, you guys had the fucking corrido seen by the nuts. Yeah. And then, would, would you say COVID hit? Yeah. I guess you can say that, carnal. And, yeah. all, and also, uh, two things hit, bro. Here's what two things hit. COVID and big checks, carnal. Mm -hmm. That's honestly what hit yeah. for us. Yeah. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, uh, like, 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 I'm ch uh, just, I'm, I'm gonna say what I think, and then maybe you correct me. Okay. Like, like you made too much money, and then you're like, I oh, could chill for a little bit. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Mm. Something COVID, seeing, COVID, yeah. and having a lot of money and not giving a fuck and just wanting to party, spend it, blow it on everything, you know. So you definitely regret it. I got. I only. I only regret. You know what? I don't regret how it happened. To be honest, to be honest, I don't regret it. I'm glad that it did happen the way it did, bro, because it fucking taught me a lot about myself. Yeah. And it and and as soon as COVID hit, carnal, we got immediately like a big ass slap in the face by reality, of like, hey, go fix your real pedals. Like, stop trying to fucking hide it in alcohol and bi and bitches and yeah. and shows and money yeah. and all that. Stop trying to hide it with that. Go yeah. fix your real problems. And I had to face the fucking music, man. Yeah, that's you know? that's because, like, I, there's. I mean, I watch. I watch a lot of shit. I pay attention, and obviously, you guys didn't drop for a while. You guys were kind of out the loop, and even some would probably say that you guys fell off, right? Like, right. And and I've always I've seen it. I, at least a lot more close up with like rappers and stuff like that. To where I'm like, damn, whatever happened to that? Like that drive or something like that. And obviously, things happen in life. Like, mm -hmm. like I, I remember there was a time where I couldn't think of a skit. And obviously, it's, it's different levels of things, right? But, like, I just couldn't think of nothing fucking funny to say on camera and to upload. Damn. And it was for a while. For I just, it was like, I feel like everything I was making was shit. Like, it sucks. Mm -hmm. It's fucking terrible. And then yeah. and then I took a little break, like, six-month break. I was still uploading, like, podcasting. And every once in a while, I'd skip, but it wasn't hitting how I, how I wanted it to hit. Yeah. And I remember um, I fucking, I took a trip to, like, Oakland. I mean, to the Bay, just to get my mind right. And and I came back with a lot, with a, with a different energy, at least a little mm -hmm. bit, you know, like a different vibe. And that's what kind of like, was that, was is that kind of where you guys are at now? Because not only did you guys take a hit, but the Corrido world took a hit to where it's not what it used to be when you guys were playing. Right. Um, no, exactly how you're, how you're explaining it. Like, uh, I feel like el público nomás ve lo que, lo que ve. Lo que Un ve, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. And they don't see that, you know, we are regular people at the end of the day and we have our own personal problems and our own, you know, shit like that. Uh, and it was just a formula of fucking of bad shit upon bad shit, carnal. Um, but COVID not having us work that long. Thank God, you know, we're, we're set up correctly with the right contracts and shit like that where we get fucking regalias and we're, and we're fucking, yeah. we're set, we're set, we're good. Um, but the big thing for me was it was such a quick shift of a lifestyle that I didn't know how to really fucking understand. Take and, it all in. Yeah, yeah, take, yeah, how to adjust and all that. And, and I had a lot of personal problems that I was dealing with. And I, and I, had, a, I had a major problem with, with, with alcohol, too. And um, it was just a bunch of shit, bro. A bunch of yeah. shit. And I, and, 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 I, uh, and I got too comfortable with the money that I, that I did have already and the one that was coming in and all that shit. And, and I guess subconsciously, I was just not trying. I was, I was just not yeah. trying just to fucking be, be real. You know, I wasn't trying. Um, 
And this is in no way to fucking say like, oh, like, you know, we're running out of money. Nah, yeah. nah, actually, we just signed an even better deal. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're fucking way Bro, better well, off. Congratulations than, to you guys. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're way better off now <laughs> than, than even, even back then. Uber Eats, I mean, no, well, for Augusto Papa, we're going to get him a private jet, you know? Okay, okay. We haven't even been on a private jet and we're going to get him a private jet yeah. to go to Vegas. Them little fuckers. <laughs> Why do you guys have a show in Vegas? Uh, we have our own podcast. We have our own podcast. And actually, on this podcast, uh, yeah, we wanted to invite oh, you to bro, be a guest. Oh, yeah, yeah. If I don't need a private jet, just put some money on my car. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, why you mention a private jet? Yeah, 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 yeah. no, no, no. Now we're going to have to get to it. No, no, I'll yeah. drive the scoops. We're going to have to get to no, it. No, no, no. No, no. I, I, I fuck with Vegas. I like going. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. I, I don't like the weather, so we could do some type around winter. It's pretty no, bad. no. Well, it's in, oh, okay, I feel like it's in yeah, yeah. though. Well, we're starting the second season. Uh, we already recorded the whole first season of Semi Wapos. It's our oh, podcast. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be recording second season in a few months. Yeah. I'll pull e up. Yeah. Just yeah. let me know. I will. Yeah, let me know. Just buy me. A, I said, I'll take a 1942. Yeah. Yeah, we got you. I got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got you. Got so, enough. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Like I was saying, yeah. this is in no way of me saying like, oh, we're trying to come back right now because we ran out of money. No, that's, that's not what it is. Thank God we're more well off than we were even, yeah. even during touring. Um, it's just, I like, uh, de un de repente, just like how you said that you went to Oakland and you came back with another attitude, like, yeah, of, like, yeah. fuck, like, like a fresh start, a fresh start. Yeah. It's like that, viejo. It's, it's like, como que nomás te entran las ganas de cambiar de nuevo, bro. Like you get inspired, you know what I mean? And it's that inspiration that I was like, you know what? I think we never fucking really gave the people what they actually wanted and kept it going, bro. Es que yo hacía una mamada donde we would take out a fucking banger. And then my stupid ass would always want to do, okay, now let's hit him with a romantica. Because my biggest dream was always to become, was always to be like, like, uh, like Alta Consigna, like them fools that llenan stadiums full of people singing like love songs, fool. Because I love love yeah. songs, carnal. Like that, yeah, that's yeah. what I, you know, like yeah. banda and all that shit. So I, I had to come to the, to the cruel reality that I'm never going to be that. And, 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 I, and I only got to fucking not say... You're going to be junior Atia, bro. Yeah, that, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I, that I'm only going to be singing corridos. You know what I mean? So, um, <laughs> so yeah. Sad, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Not like, not like that. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a whole no, no. other style. I know what you're saying. I, I, think, I like actual musica romantica. Like, yeah, bro. Like, I've you always know. wanted to be a rapper. I tried it. I suck. <laughs> but I mean, hey, it happened. I yeah. love comedy. But, but I get what you're saying. And... and it takes a lot of balls and shout out you fool for being able to be like, I fucked up. Yeah. Like I, I was giving you bangers. Y como de pendejo, I thought this one was going up, this one was going to nah, Exactly. Nah, hell nah. Yeah, yeah. Nah, so, um, so now, puros corridos, uh, fucking, we're not, we're not taking the drums and the bass off anymore. It's because, it's lo que nos da el estilo de hijos de Garcia, you know, real solid, punchy and shit. Yeah. You know, very fresh. Um, How are you guys... Uh, keeping up with like the and and also like how do you guys feel about a lot of your colleagues that just I mean you guys came up with a lot of dope people and like I mean fuck bro the force out of here that's to, that went at a whole other level like yeah. how do you guys when you guys see that is that like a motivational way of seeing it too like definitely is motivation carnal it, it definitely is especially since they were going through it as well I mean they're they're real good friends of ours and they were saying it I think on some interviews también donde when they were saying like fuck like we were also feeling that that you know that decline and stuff. Y también el compa J.O.P., shout outs to him. Um, que nos, que también dijo que he was feeling that, you know, that down feeling and shit. Like, fuck, man, like we're fucking up, you know? But they picked it right up and they, and they, and they blasted through the roof, you know what yeah, I mean? That was, that was, and yeah. everybody's different, bro. Like, some people take longer to realize, some, some people are fast to fucking realize it and they pick it up just like them, you know? And mad respects to that shit. Um, but I just feel like right now is the perfect time. I feel like it's happening organically, bro, de todo lo que está pasando. Because eh, believe it or not, um, I mean, just in this past few months, I don't know how closely you watch Hijo de Garcia, but in these past few months, well, a, lot of, a lot of pieces have been moving. I, and, I uh, pay attention to what I could keep up with. Like, right. Because I, I, as much as I do social media, I, I, I went through the phase to where I was trying to do too much at once. Right. To where, like... Even like the minimizing the drinking, like I don't drink during the week. I try to like not drink Monday through Thursday. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, so a lot of shit like that trying to get my health back. And I'm so busy that I don't, I can, it's hard. Like, I'm going to keep it a buck. I'll do my research a day before on like, I'll yeah. watch shows, interviews. And I was watching the Augusto Papa. I was like, bro, I want to have money. They're dope. Yeah. And just even listen, like, like to me, there's another step in my career, fool, to where I listen to you guys. I, I watched you guys on YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, last week I was getting drunk with the homies and then I, Last week I was getting drunk with the homie listening to your shit. 
I saw your pod and then I DM'd you. Dude. And it what was like, now nah, I'm able to do that to where like, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm motivated as I go. Can I keep up with everything? With anybody? Fuck, I can keep up with myself. Yeah. But I have been, you guys, you guys are back outside and I, and I pay attention to that. Yeah. To where like, I want to be part of your back outside. Oh man, you hey, know what I'm saying? Like, like, like I want to be able to be like, okay, them fools like, Sick. and now, and I, I, I mean, I'm a fan. I was a fan before this. Thank you. But Thank now you. it's like when I get to know your story and and shit like that. Now I'm like, even the shit with your brothers, that, that that blew my mind in a sense to where like I think that's dope that they're part of your guys' shit. Yeah, yeah. And like you know, with the label and 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 as brothers, you didn't force it for them to have to be with Diego Garcia. Mm -hmm. Let you do your own thing, but we're going. Have your yeah. That's right. And like even here in your heart, we're like we're back now. I'm like I'm excited. I like I like seeing comebacks. I'm I'm a big comeback guy. Oh yeah, you know yeah, yeah. And that's just all over. That's just all over TikTok and all that. Like like yeah. different people saying like is this hijos comeback year and shit. Like yeah. everybody's talking about it. For we just feel we feel blessed that you guys take us into consideration. That that you guys believe in us enough to say is this hijos you know comeback year that we're even a topic still that we're even a subject yeah. having so many talented new artists blowing it up right now like it never was blowing up back then when we were around yeah. and you for you guys to take us into consideration saying that okay, hey this is hijos comeback year that's a, that's huge are you guys La neta. Are you, you guys already have music waiting waiting yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah, got enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, no, but no, also no. to say, we're big fans of you too, bro. E you. Ever, ever since. E e <laughs> bro, because you were in another platform, Carnal, where I yeah. didn't think that we were like anything, you know, like, like, bro, to, to, I, like I know a platform you're talking about. I would have brought you up there, motherfucker. <laughs> but I was on a, yeah, bro, I took Nivelle up there. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah, I had I brought Nivelle. I, I was doing most of the Latino interviews when I was at No Jumper. I did. I was doing a lot of the rap people, man. Shout out Jammer Boy, YB. I was doing a lot of the homies that are yeah. part of the like Latino rap, Chicano rap. I was doing. Yeah, bro, I didn't even. Bro, I hadn't even played for us up there during my show. Yeah. Bro, we. Bro, I. When, man, uh, we were fans of you when you were starting off with the domestic violence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, oh, that yeah. Shit, that's, nah. a, that's a good time. That's a good time. <laughs> that's, that one changed my life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. man, I would have I brought y'all up there. Damn. Yeah, I mean that's why like Hey, I, we're down we're down. I don't know if you still do uh paper bag. Yeah, brown bag. Uh, yeah, brown bag, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, yeah. yes, I'll set it up. I'll connect, bro. We 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 did we did Grupo Frontera, we did Sick. Danny Lux. We would love to have y'all, bro. Let's go. Let's bro, Let's yeah, go, yeah. we we bro, we moving around and even when you guys drop, like I bro, whatever y'all see me do, please don't be shy to ask. I'll connect out with whoever I can connect out with. Thank you Thank so much. You. That's man. that's that. like I one of my biggest things like when I do a lot of shit is like mm -hmm be able to help whether it's you do come like if especially latino you know I, I know like for a long time we were a lot of the baby bts you know we're behind mm -hmm. the scenes yeah so being able to like have a foot into where like i'm able to do shit like this now like hell mainstream. yeah like even when um on my birthdays oh uh, shout out to rail ad and then when they come to my birthdays Sick. and they see a group of players blows their mind like you have a whole bag here <laughs> yeah, yeah shout out and and all my live shows to this day yeah we i've sold out the novo Three times I did it with brown bags. I did it with when we were at No Jumper, and I did it with Fig Unity World. Uh, we saw we we did the we did, before we did the wheelchair and we did the array. I always have a grupo in my green room playing. Let us do uh, uh, your next That's birthday, right. big dog. Bro, pull up for my next birthday. I'm like, hey, I'm going to keep your word, motherfucker. Let's do it. Yeah, pull up for my birthday. Let's do it. I, I, I'm already have a grupo, but y'all can come sing a song. I'll take a song. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I'll, I'll, sing, I'll sing a song. I'll sing a song. <laughs> yeah. So I was over here putting me for a whole two hours. Got it out? But he put the Damn. Jet, though, so he put the private jet. Oh, yeah, motherfucker. Come on. I got to tell him for that. All right, you're right. You're right. You're fucking right. But, um, Nah, they fucking um, yeah. I I try to shine light like that to where like and shout out um los Mexicos and los and shout out los de Ling. They're they're a group of coming out of um Inglewood. Los de qué? For los de Ling. Los de Ling, like Inglewood, like los de Ling. Oh, and okay. yeah, and oh, okay. and and fucking I invited them to the Nova, which is the first time I did it, and I had the green one with the homie Vic, and I'm like, you're cool. He's like, hell yeah, bro. Everybody had a G Porico, AD, T Rail. They was in the back like. Bro, this shit is lit. Like, this is <laughs> yeah. a good time. So that's yeah. kind of where I'm at to where, like, as much love as I could show, I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's right. every once in a while, I'll pull. And, and I'm not saying I'm like this this big shit, right? But, like, every once in a while, I'll go to a tocada where it's just a bunch of grupos coming up. And I'll go, and I know one of the grupos. And I'll go up there while he's singing my favorite song. And and I know, like, if the cameras come out, that means I'm going to be in the video. They're going to be in the video. Yeah, yeah. And it's just like a lot of collateral effect. And, and, yeah, I, yeah. and, and I like to do that sometimes. My just, team, my just team. Like, I like to, like, there's these kids from Arizona that I love. 
They don't, I don't, I don't even think, I don't even know if they know me. Um, Clive is said it all, but they're fucking killing it on TikTok. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Their parties be getting shot up, but I'm, I'm, I'm not mad at that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I might not go, I might look from a business, I'm not trying to get yeah, shot, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but yeah. I like, I'm, I'm just, that's just mm. me, bro. But yeah, if y'all would have tapped it, I would have, um, Vic, when Vic had his show up there, he had JD up there. What? That's yeah, right. y'all should have tapped in. See, motherfucker, for not tapping in. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're right. Drunk. You're right. You're right. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man, whatever right. y'all need me for, please tap in. Cause I, like I said, I, I, I love a comeback story. I love just a story in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and is there a lot of like big collabs or is just huge collabs? Yeah, yeah, huge collabs, huge classic ones. Right now, right now, yeah. We're gonna go with Legado. Yeah, we're gonna do Ooh, two of them with Legado. Okay, yeah. Um, Check out uh, Fuerza. Re we just did a collab with Fuerza Regia. Fuerza Regia. On YouTube. That one's already in millions and shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah Fue Todo veo, todo veo. Uh, Hijos Garcia and Fuerza Regia. Yeah. We got one with Farmers, El Buenazo. That's going crazy too. Yeah, that yeah. Was, I like. You know what? I I, I love that he blew because you know he looks older, and that's yeah. always like you know for any type of music that could yeah. be an impact hit, like mm -hmm. to where he's pretty yeah. young to be honest. Yeah, but he just looks older. You know, the homie <laughs> probably worked some crazy jobs as a kid. <laughs> Motherfucker. Hey, that fool, yeah. that fool's perro, wey. That's yeah. a perro, wey. Yeah. Um, are you guys up to, like, the new groups coming up? Are you guys listening to a lot? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, that's all anybody listens to, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah of course. Um, yeah, yeah. No, but as know. far as collabs, uh, there's a lot of big names coming in, um, names that we haven't named yet. Uh, pero yeah, everything's in the talks, it's in the studios, and the songs are, are, are ready to go. How how's, how's the work vibes now that, like, obviously you were talking about, like, the past, like, you, maybe a lot of drinking, maybe a lot of too much uh, uh, other things, right? Like, how's the studio session now? Are you guys more calm? Like, maybe now it's like a water and some chips, <laughs> or like, or like maybe definitely. May I mean, it's more chill. Wait, I ain't gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, bro, I'm not gonna lie. For first, the first times that I would be in the studio, for it, no tiene que faltar alcohol and girls and all that yeah. shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, but now yeah, if we're straight to work. Straight to That's work. Straight to work. I though. love it. I love it. Yeah. And and shit, let me know when you guys have a studio session. I'll pull up. That's right. Come yeah. Girl. yeah. I like, I like, I like, I get bored after a long time, you know, it's like an hour on my day, you know? Yeah, no, yeah. it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I pull up, you yeah. know what, because I, I, even um, being in sessions, I could see how, like, when you have certain people around, it motivates mm -hmm. you to do, like, mm. you know, you're, like, chopping game and shit like that, yeah. so that's right. dope. Hell yeah. yeah, hell yeah. We're gonna be uh, filming the video on Monday. Maybe he could Oh, we're gonna be, we're gonna be with Legado Siete filming, filming, official video. filming official videos uh, mm -hmm. on, this Monday, Karan. So yeah, send me, send me out here. I'll pull up. If I got time, I'll be there for yeah, right. I'll drive. Yeah, yeah. For I, sure. I mean, I'm from LA, so I know the little. Hell place, yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Wherever you get the filming. Um, Avoid what? the potholes, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, bro. <laughs> the low, I mean, the low bottom got some crazy ass potholes. I fucking hate driving through that yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. I didn't pop tires a couple times. Like, fuck this. My chin. How's, um, what's the. Are you are you are you are you back to writing the same way you were writing before? Like, are you kind of using the, or you're like out of? Are you guys following the new sound, the new wave? Oh, that's a good question. Um, no, we're we're giving we're not following the new wave. We're giving people exactly what they've always wanted from hijos, and we're giving them like like there's so many comments, bro, and and thank you again for everybody listening to the new album that's doing amazing right now. Uh, the new album that just came out on the Jalece 22nd Carnal. of December is called, it it's called Jalece Carnal. Uh, everybody literally said, this sounds like 2018 Hijos de Garcia. Yeah. yeah. And that's exactly what we're going to keep giving people, exactly what they want. We're not going to be fucking around trying to, thinking what they want. Nah, like, this is what they want. They want original Hijos de Garcia. Don't switch up. Don't fucking get rid of the drums and bass. Don't start singing like somebody else. Don't make fucking... Uh, Music like somebody else. Exactly. Like, getting back you know? to our roots. So. Have you might... For you might dibble and dabble? Like you might like get into the cookie jar a little bit? If, like in a collab, like, I think that'd it, be it, the most organic way. Yeah, in a collab, we would only be able to do that with a song... Of that actual artist can que, que no, que nos like, quiere like on it. To you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Que nos quiere ahí on, on it. Like, mm -hmm. we would only do that. But other than that, bro, if it's us, it's hijos, hijos style all the way. Hijos style. Um, yeah. Is there any artists that you haven't tapped in with that you're like, oh, I want to fuck with them this year? Marca Registrada. I Probably fuck Marca. With, I fuck with them heavy. Yeah, yeah. Marca Registrada. That, that, that was tough. Yeah, and yeah. we chopped it up online, but it was when we were on our... On yeah. our dumb phase, you know? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah we, we did chop it up with them years ago and shit, uh, but now we haven't been in contact with them. Um, but all the other ones, the ones that we want to collab with, everybody we've literally spoken with and everybody everything's lining up. Hell yeah. yeah. Um, what about with um, Eres de Patrones? Why you have to give it up? Damn. Why, why you why you gave it up like that? Well, because that's my guy. You know, we did a movie together. Oh, you oh know, yeah. I'm in, I'm, I'm in oh, the yeah. movie. You're in that, so you yeah. see how big so you yeah. see how big Moreno Chenta blew up when it's one of the bangers yes, todavía. Yes. Okay. So the first 
thing that I was seeing in all the comments of Todo Veo of us in Fuerza Regida. You guys got to do a collab with Herencia. We got to bring it back to 2018 and this and that. Because that's what we're going to bring back to the people for. Yeah, bro. Um, we got, you know what? We got I, one pending. Shout out Uzi because he was. Yeah, we, he, he was in the, Uzi. Shout out Uzi. He was in yeah, the, yeah. And he had to teach. Oh, I don't want to. Okay, maybe I might get in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, we have to learn how to play a certain, uh, like an instrument. And uh-huh. Uzi's cold, fool. Super. Like when it comes to. My like, I didn't know that he was like a, a big, like. You know, like I like me being at the kid at the moment. Like I didn't, I was naive to like what role that everybody plays. And that's I didn't know he was. You know, he's fucking fool. He's, he's the, the dog. He's that's the fool. melody of the like what I play the melody on he's the accordion. A, he, he plays a melody on the guitar. Yeah, he's yeah. he's he's a whole other level of talented. Yeah, he yeah. does beats all types of shit. He was telling me, I was like, damn, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, but you know, me and Uzi girl, girl and JD and everybody else, right? And I, I, we obviously the conversation will come up like a like my come up their shit when they. When you know that that time and shit, and I was like, and I remember I brought up that once. I was like, bro, y'all used to kill it with hoes and they were like, yeah, I know. Yeah, but dope, but, I but that. fucking JD looked at me and like smiled. I'm like, yeah, you're hiding something, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Nah, and I mean, I guess we're gonna say it right now. But yeah, we have a new song coming out with Rencia to, to fucking kill it again. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah. A, that's that that's a good time, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a good. That's time. a great time. That's a better. Yeah. Maybe a little trip to the bathroom. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Not for me, you know what I'm saying? What's up, you guys? It's your boy, Duno. And before we continue with this interview, and I'm getting this workout in Sakalu's Espanza. You know what other work I'm getting in? With motherfucking prize picks. Shout out fucking prize picks. They're my fucking perritos right here. And these are my picks for this fucking week. You guys know, fool, the NFL's been a fucking blast, fool. Detroit, it's finally gonna have sun because they've been winning, dog. Since 1992, they made it to play. They're doing this shit, bro. Feel me? Kansas City Chiefs doing their shit. Baltimore Ravens doing their shit. The 49ers doing their shit. But you guys, these are my picks for this motherfucking weekend. Follow these fucking picks. You're going to double your fucking deposit, dog. You put five bucks, you might win five million, dog. Five million. But you don't only got to do the NFL. But I say you do because the NFL is booming right now. So I got NFL for National Football League. I fuck with it. You can also do the NBA, soccer, NHL. Women soccer, women basketball, whatever the fuck's going on in the world that has to do with sports, price pick is fucking tapped in or competitive. If some of you fucking nerds want to do Counter Strike, they got Counter Strike picks too. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, these are my picks right here. Double your deposit with anything that price pick does. Some easy wins and some hard ones and some hard losses. You're not always going to win, but see if you believe and believe in price picks and Dunoskis. Use code Duno. Shout out price picks. Ah! Are you guys planning on, on on any tours? So the main main thing that we're working on right now is just bringing back Hijos de Garcia as a fucking household name, like yeah. at the parties and shit, right? So once once that whole piece of work is done, bro, donde le estamos metiendo chingadazos y chingadazos, we're not trying to show up anywhere until we're able to start our tour. Yeah, yeah. In 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 bigger venues and like shit like that, donde la gente pueda venir y, 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 y party with the with the whole actual hijos de Garcia experience. And then and then I seen Augusta actually, guys, but like, if the SMO comes back and talks, yeah, bro, of course, yeah, bro. I gotta let you finish. <laughs> no, yeah, bro. bro. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, oh, yeah big dog. Of course, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's not? the whole reason why there's so many people talking about it, bro. Because on Augusto Papa, he asked us, and that shit's been going all over the fucking TikTok and Instagram and. SMO's SMO's uh, is a topic right now. Yeah, that you know? was a good time. You know, I never went to it. And I, 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 I then how was it a good time? Because everybody else said it was a good time. Yeah. <laughs> he like, he's like, that was a good time. I never I, went though. I never went. No, no, no. I, I never went, but motherfucker, like I missed out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did. I, I missed out. Like my, my sister, bro, my mom went to it before I went to it. Oh, my, <laughs> man. my mom went. My mom That's went right. my sister and then. When you guys did it um, at the, it's not Peacock Theater, but at the Microsoft. At the Microsoft. Yeah. Yeah, my mom, yeah, my mom went to it. Simon, and she's like, bro, chula. that shit was lit. My mom yeah. went, that shit was fucking hella fun. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, to be honest, I mean, when I recall the, the, the Microsoft Theater, that that presentation, um, I was so fucking, like, nervous, bro. Yeah, me too. Nervous me as too. fuck, bro. Like, we, we were, like, I was, like, shaking uh, while I was walking, I? like fucking damn near. Twerking. That was the ultimate lineup, fool. You could compare that to the days when what 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 fucking days were that in hip hop when it was like Snoop, Cube, and everybody. I forgot what fucking that tour was called, but like the fucking stage was fully designed. That was a different time. Yeah. That was that was the same type of vibe. You would compare that to that. Wow, Damn, that's dope. That's and, crazy. And oh, I'm yeah. like, bro, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like fool, like it's one of those shows where you get there on time. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> yeah. everybody, no, no, no. yeah, because yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. is the the uh, yeah, a good one. Anybody, Everyone's yeah, a good man, one. I don't, give a, I'm a, I don't give a fuck about these openers. Yeah, but everybody's a banger. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you gotta give so a fuck. So you would want to be there. At, doors open. See, yeah, mom, no, yeah. and they were. Shit, that and shit was were. packed out by the time that anybody would get on. Yeah. You know? God damn, that was a crazy time. Yeah. Man, I remember, like, you used to be hating. You used to see the clips on Facebook. The IG, oh, yeah. second like, clip. Fuck, I couldn't make it because that shit was sold out, carnal. Everything was sold out, you know? Fast. Yeah. What was your guys' best city to perform at? The next one, bro. Damn. Damn. There you go. Don't get us in trouble with yeah. any city looking at like <laughs> Nah, nah man. I mean, bro. There, there's a lot of cities where, where I say, like, fuck, we had an experience there, bro. Like, where I remember it, where, where the screams, bro, were fucking rumbling so hard that. Like, Camerino. Yeah, for when it was like shaking the walls, bro. That shit, that shit was Dallas, Texas, carnal. Mm. Dallas, Texas. There's this one place. I don't know if it's the acoustics of the place or whatever, but it was Mesquite. Remember? Mm -hmm. In Dallas or... Yeah, that is Dallas, right? We did in Dallas and then we did Far West. Yeah, we but the Mesquite ones. is... Um, it, it, there's, there's, a, a, there's, a, there's like a rodeo one. Mesquite. Yeah, that one. Yeah. That one. So there's a Camerino, bro, and they would fucking scream so loud, carnal, que hasta like... like it almost felt like, like you couldn't understand what you were hearing, bro. It was like distortioning. You know what a Camerino you know? is, Big Dog? I don't. A green room. Oh, the green room. Yeah, oh, yeah. Your English. <laughs> <laughs> I saw his face. <laughs> what the fuck? He's, like, I'm plenty of he's, like, he's <laughs> like Camerino. He's like, he's like, do you eat that or what? <laughs> I was like, I was like, these motherfuckers talking about some rat shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know Spanish, but like, you, you, you're speaking a very high level Spanish. <laughs> you're like, you're like, a high damn, level. you know what I'm saying? Like, no, so you graduated dude. Spanish the first. Time. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> nah, yeah. Nah, nah. The funny shit about Spanish is that I didn't know how to speak Spanish till I was maybe. Fucking 13, 14, carnal. That's oh, what you, I... You that's were pocho I, before that? Pocho machín, yeah. carnal. No eh, to, todavía, me, todavía me escucho a veces así, yeah, bro. Yeah, we like, weren't... To you motherfuckers. Mother, we weren't raised there. Our Spanish isn't going to be like our mom. Yeah. My mom is the only one that graduated from our sibling. She didn't even graduate. She's the only one that could read. <laughs> my mom went hey, up to the third the grade. Fuck? My mom went up to the Damn. third grade. They went up to the second, third grade. Yeah, uh -huh. our mom, parents too. Yeah, parents yeah my mom's the only one taught herself how to read, write. Oh, okay. But my mom's Spanish is like, bro, like, I'm not going to have my mom's Spanish. Yeah. I can oh, say okay. a word wrong and people are like, oh, you're not Mexican. <laughs> I'm like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the shit, way. the way that I taught myself how to how to speak Spanish was... Uh, Money, because you wanted to sing the songs. <laughs> <laughs> Money. No, yeah, it, it was because of the songs, because I, I had to sing them in Segunda Voz. So I had to learn how to sing them and say them properly so I wouldn't sound dumb uh, singing them with my carnal, yeah. Raul, because Raul actually knew, knew like real Spanish. Yeah, you his know? Spanish is way better. Bro. His Spanish is really yeah. well. Yeah, like, well, really he's, well he's older, so he, you know, like he's more developed. Yeah, 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 yeah todos yeah. los demás, they have really good Spanish and shit, you know, but from me and down, bro, I, I, man, I was listening to fucking T-Pain and Usher, dog. Like, yeah, like, you know, no, shit no, like no, that. I get it. I get it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'd be, be mad when people be mad at kids <clears> for like, bro, like, just because they don't know how to say a big ass word <laughs> yeah. that you're only gonna use in like in, camerino, in, like, in camarino, like, whatever. like camerino. camerino. <laughs> I know how to say escuela. I know how to. I could talk. I, I, I could talk to all my tío. My boy said elote. elote. My boy said <laughs> poquito chile. <laughs> poquito chile. <laughs> you know. Like, like, you know what I'm fucking saying. I'm fucking tres de asada. You know. I know how to do all that. I know how to ask for beer. I know. Yeah. But then you want. Like and and I got a full car and I know Spanish and and obviously we're clowny right now. But, <laughs> but like motherfucker, like obviously I'm not gonna know the biggest fucking word. Yeah, I'm, I might know it, but I can't yeah. pronounce it the right fucking way. Like, right. oh, god damn, like I was. Sorry, I wasn't. None of us were raised in. If you're calling me on a Salvador, you better only have lived in Mexico. Yeah, yeah, because you yeah. were raised around that language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd yeah. be like, I'd be mad. I'd be like, damn, motherfucker. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't know the word. Yeah. Like, yeah. like I'd be like. I'd be like Hola, mom, como estas? Um, what you do today? Like, you know, all right, I'm Spanish. Now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What you way, What bro. you do esta noche? Looking what like. Fool my mom. Fool my mom understands me completely. Uh, my mom's like, nah, me, oh, I get you. Uh, but I think I'd be like, but yeah, I, I think I think I'm an Osabo. That's cool. Like, yeah. I think we all are somehow. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Unless you're like. Uh, like el de la guitarra, like, you know what I'm saying? El de la guitarra was born, ese güey, ese güey nació y fue creído todo, en todo, yeah. Yeah. Criado. Yeah. Criado. 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 Creído. 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 
Sí, anda valiendo verga el compa aquí. You were basically saying, yeah, he was born and he was cocky out there. Yeah, That's what you were saying. Cocky, I know, yeah. creído, mi bro. I see. What are they? Creado? Criado. 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 There you go. He was raised there. See, yeah. See, I knew the right word. I said it wrong. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, pronunciation. pronunciation. He you said know, it in the beginning. That's, so. I think that's what makes it no sabo. We can't pronounce it for shit. Yeah, yeah. I, if I, if I don't even speak English right. Like, yeah. <laughs> 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 Spanish, yeah. English, imagine. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm terrible. I'm terrible. But, uh, no, I think, damn, you didn't learn until you were 13. Well, fucking, I'm pretty sure you guys were in ESL too, right? No, no, no. no. You guys weren't in ESL? No. no. Oh, you motherfucking knew English. Yes, we knew English, dog. Yeah. Oh, I was in ESL, fool. First language, Spanish. So oh, I'm a better you, Spanish. You didn't, what? you didn't know English? I learned English to like the first grade. Hold on. Oh, so you knew Spanish machine, way, y luego oh, se te fue. Y luego se te fue. In kindergarten, I took bilingual. In Gratz Elementary, I, I, was, I was bilingual. I, I knew my ABCs got a in Spanish. <laughs> my, I didn't learn. Shout out, shout out my mom's boss that my mom's been with since I was like two. Her daughter taught me English in, mm. in, in, in Brentwood, in a gated community. That's I crazy. would go out to school. Cause if I, I used to cry if I didn't know I didn't know English. Mm. Talking about uno uno más uno pl uh, yeah, player, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I <laughs> like I know that when you say más, it means times. Like no, this, yeah. Por, that's por. Jesus por, Christ. Por, right? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that por? It's por, right? It's por. Right? Mas is daddy. Mas is daddy. Mas is daddy. Por. Damn. You would have got, 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 got me with it. Por is times. Por is times. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I knew that as a kid. Like I, <laughs> I knew that. And then I, I didn't learn English till, bro. I was in ESL. I think through like, till like the ninth grade. And damn. Was, damn. And, but obviously, okay. First of all, my God. <laughs> let, let me say my story. <laughs> Obviously, like, in, from six through, like, from six through eight, it was like, I wasn't, like, to get out of ESL, you also have to pass English class. Mm. And I was, like, ditchy, and I was fighting. I, I went to three middle schools. Dang. So, oh, I, okay. I, it, it's not that I didn't fucking know English. <laughs> I'm already getting judged by the no. <laughs> Mr. Learned English. Yeah. Learned Spanish. You know? <laughs> but, but. Hey, but I learned it pretty well. I, yeah, I mean, yeah, me, right. you know, I can hold we my own. Can. That's, I just, that's why I think it's funny when people be like, no sabos. I'd be like, motherfucker, yeah. we're yeah. out no sabos. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't get out of ESL to, like, my, like, ninth grade. Because, obviously, like, I was getting in trouble. I wasn't passing. I, didn't, I don't think I ever passed any. Middle, I think I had all S through all middle school. Maybe a, maybe a, maybe a, Damn, C, you maybe a all D, S, maybe a, bro. Yeah, I was, I was a bad kid. It's not yeah. that like, and, and, but I would test well. I would mm -hmm. test pretty well. And then ninth grade, I didn't pass ESL until I went to juvenile, when I started going in and out of juvenile hall. And when I got out, I got out mid 10th grade. Ten, so mid you were on some bullshit. Yeah, I, some I, was bullshit fucking, I was fucking up. I was a bad kid. Yeah. And I got out in October. <laughs> I got out in October and I went back to school in November. The school year was ending. So the grade I had for English in juvenile hall, obviously I'm not learning shit in juvenile hall. We just got to do a packet and get the fuck out. Yeah. I would ha I brought that grade to the school and that grade complemented this grade. And then I was out of it for a second semester of 10th grade. And that's, that's when I finally had an elective, fool. Yes. I didn't understand what Damn. the fuck he said. Yeah. <laughs> I got lost. Yeah, I'm just pretending like I know what he's yeah. talking yeah, about. Yeah, <laughs> I got out of ESL. That's yeah. Good, yeah, that's yeah, good. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I had to. To get out of ESL, you have to, you have to pass your English and your ESL class, right? Oh, EL, ELD. In Vegas? Okay. In Vegas? I wasn't in ESL. Sorry. I was in ELD. English language development. Shout out to everybody in ESL. Oh, that's so, in Vegas. So what is ESL? English Same second thing? language. ESL is like the classification of your kid. You're English as a second language. Like that's your classification. No, motherfucker. If, the, if that's just said ESL. No, I refer to you as an ESL kid, but you were in ESL. Oh. Mm, I wasn't that. Damn. Damn. I will see, see. You were referring to that. Y'all, I'm funny. I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But, 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 like it's our new. Yeah. But I was, I was in ELD, and then you get out of it. Mm. But, you, but to get out of ELD, you have to pass your English class, and 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 but your actual ELD class too. And Spanish. Or no, because first of all, if I'm in ELD, why do I have to take Spanish class? <laughs> That's what I never understood about LUSD. And you do have to take it? Yeah, like, oh, motherfucker, you're telling me. I gotta, you have to take it for two years. That is crazy. It's through a, your A through G requirements. You have to take Spanish in LUSD. I'm wow. assuming maybe because California is 80% Latino. Mm. So I'm guessing if that's, why, why do we have to take Spanish? Because when you go to college, that's like a second language and you get credit. Oh. 
Mm, that makes sense too. Yeah, we yeah, ain't got that. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, we yeah. Didn't, we didn't. <laughs> well, she works with kids. I don't actually know a lot of that. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, point is, father, fucking, I was, I'm pretty much an idiot my whole life. Yeah. I was, I was, I was good at this shit. History. history. I can't even say history. <laughs> history. Uh, history. History. I'm pretty good at history and shit like that. But yeah, man, we all know Sabo. Shout out to No Sabo. No Sabo, man. You're like, we know a little bit of history, better. We know history. <laughs> I also have a list, but you know what? My whole language is all fucked up. Yeah. I, 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 I could I, see, I could act Filipino if I want. <laughs> I would believe you. Yeah, bro. I, I, if, I might go learn some Tagalog and I might be, be a yeah. terrible accent, though. <laughs> yeah, I might have yeah. a terrible accent. I got to sound like Joe Coy or something. You know who Joe Coy is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, just yeah. trying to imagine it right now. Yeah, That's all I'm trying to do. Hit it one time. Hit it one time. Hit it one time. Hit it one time. I don't, I don't know. Just half. Just half. <laughs> Hurry up, Joseph. <laughs> Bro. Yeah, that's crazy. Damn. So you didn't learn Spanish until you were 13? Uh, I, I knew. You obviously knew Spanish. I, I could understand my parents and I could say some stupid ass words and shit, but it didn't sound good at all. Like, like to be able to fucking talk to my tios, right? Like, you know what I mean? Nah, not until my brother Raul was like, hey, you gotta fucking learn Spanish if you're gonna be singing with me. Like, what the fuck? And, and, and did you read books or some shit? Uh, no, the, the music that I would be singing with him. He would practice it with me, and, and I would say the words wrong, and he'd be like, no, like this. Bro, for one fucking song, when we would practice, we would have like a whole list of like 20 songs that we had to practice in one day. We wouldn't get past like two of them, bro, because I couldn't read them. <laughs> Yo, you know? correct me if I'm wrong. Wouldn't you have to, when you messed up singing, wouldn't you have to read it like a book after? You'd yeah. Be like, read it normal. Yeah, I would have to read it like a book, the song. So I, I, so I know letras from like sick ass fucking singers and shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, I would just have to uh, read their, their, their lyrics and stuff like that. Like if it was a page from and then read it again shit. and then read it again until it sounded normal. And then we would sing it. Mm. Yeah. So breaking news, the Hills of Garcia's are no sabos. <laughs> <laughs> breaking news. Hey, breaking news. Hey, no, pero breaking la neta, news. yo creo que me enseñé bien, güey. O sea, yeah, no, 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 no. You, you, you know what I mean? Bro, you, like, we all, I'm, it's because it's, it's like my thing when I try to like, when we have like these like funny ass arguments with people, I'm like, bro, we all know Spanish. Yeah. But we're going to say, we're going to say a lot of things wrong. Yeah. Because yeah. obviously team. if you were raised in Mexico, you're Spanish. That's your language. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, it's your first language here. We got to go between Spanish and English and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Man. Um, what's your favorite city in Mexico to perform in? Uh, oh, shit, shit. We, we, we've, we've only, couple. we've only been to, we've only been to Tijuana and Mexicali. Mexicali. Okay, okay. Yeah. Are you we, guys planning we, on... Bro, our, our, our biggest city that was... Uh, that is still, I think... Our biggest city that streams us is Mexico City. Mexico so City. we'd love to get something... Hopefully in that tour that my brother was talking about, yeah, yeah. we get something in Mexico. So Jalisco. Biggest, your biggest streams in Mexico is Mexico City. Yeah. Mexico, Mexico City, City Jalisco. Oh, Guadalajara, fire. Jalisco. Yeah. That's where my family's from. Yeah, Don't Guadalajara, hey, Jalisco. No, no, no. El, um, El Defe. That's that. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, Mexico City. That's yeah, right. That's right. Like that yeah, they're Chilangos. We we're, we're like big on rock and cumbias and mm. all that. See more. It's a vibe. I want to go to Tepito for my birthday. Yeah. What, what's that? What is that? You guys know what Tepito is? No. I gotta show you guys. I gotta show you guys. It's a vibe. Yeah, it's a. It's like um, think of like the downtown alleys, but with a bunch of Chilangos talking like. <laughs> Think of, think of oh, like that. oh well, man, we'll come out of that shit naked, bro. Yeah, that, that <laughs> motherfuckers will rob everything. Yeah, rob you, know, you know what? Oh. Growing up, when I would tell people that my family was from El Defe, they would hide their wallets. Damn. No, Damn. <laughs> hey, hey, but then when they would reach for it, they wouldn't find yeah, it because yeah, I already yeah, had yeah, it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, my, um, not my older sister, that, my, my two older sisters that were born in El Defe, they're very good thieves. Even though, they were, even though they weren't raised there, they're amazing thieves. Yeah. Damn. They don't thief anymore, but like... It's almost or, hereditary or what? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I skipped my mom. Yeah. But my dad was a really good thief. Fuck. And my and my oldest sister is an amazing thief. <laughs> Bro. I used to be like, how'd you come out with that? Yeah. <laughs> Whole ass TV, huh? Yeah, I was like, huh? She's like, shh. I like, shh. Shit, shit. Shit. As long as I got what I wanted. Yeah, that's right, that's right. But yeah, yeah. You guys should definitely go. I, I would love, bro, like... See, I'm like, I'm like at a stage now too in my life to where I'm blessed to where like, if you guys have a show in Vegas one day, just tell me I'll fucking fly out there. Bro. Oh, let's do it. Oh, let's get it's it, big guy. Let's yeah, get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm with all the vibes, man. But, That's right. Uh, thank you guys for coming by, bro. This was fun as this fuck. Was fun. Especially yeah. the Sabo conversation. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. definitely gonna be a clip. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, you guys have an album out now. How is it coming out? You feel me? You guys have a feature with um, Fuerza Regida out now. Yes, yes. You guys just did Augusto Papa. You yep. guys just did Chiefs when we were doing oh, shit. Yes, That's sir. right. But you guys are working, man, and I'm excited. I'm happy. Is there anything that we're missing that maybe you want to shout out right before? 
Check out Get the out podcast. Out uh, right shit, just check out our, our new podcast, Semi Wapples. The first episode uh, released last Thursday. The new one. Today, uh, every Thursday. Is uh, yeah, every, every Thursday. Uh, we do 10 episodes a season. We just shot our whole first season. Mi compa Duno is going to be yes, on, yes, on. Yeah, he's going to be two. on season two. Season two. One of, the, one of the first episodes he's going to be on. And, uh, you know. So check it out. Yeah. Yeah, nah, I'm, I'm I'm fucking happy for you guys, bro. I'm excited. You, bro. I'm 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 happy to come on the pod. It gives me a a reason to get the fuck out of LA for a yes, little sir. bit. Yeah, yeah. Got kind of a little blue vacation, maybe, yeah. you know, or maybe just all the homies. That's you right. Know, I'm that's not right. a bitch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, 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 but I definitely want to come by. Um, said, yeah. And I'm happy for you guys. Please let me know when any tours come up. I would love to any city I could go to. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. up there, and I think. I might be doing uh, comedy shows later in Vegas. Oh, so yeah. We, come we out. love comedy, yeah. bro. Let's I fucking love going to comedy yeah. shows, Karan. Yeah. I love it. I love it. We go to like, we go to, we don't know I him. go to the we Laugh, ca- the laugh the Factory. Laugh Factory? Yeah. Yeah, Concrete just did the Laugh Factory. Three Damn. nights sold out. He's the, one that, he's the one with the long hair for yeah, the one that yeah, yeah. Concrete, Con- the one that says, that's not me, fool. Yeah, that's not me. The, yeah, one, yeah, that, yeah. the one that shows a picture of somebody and it looks just like he him. He looks like a lot of people. And he looks like oh, a lot of Concrete, people. the one that looks like Churro? Uh, I don't think he looks like uh, Churro. The, 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 where he was... The one that looks like Churro is Rene Vaca. No, 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 no. No, that's not who I'm talking about. I'm talking if if concrete is who I think it is, <laughs> is the dude that that's 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 got a quinceanera vest and his dad is taking a shit next to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, puppy, when he calls him puppy, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, no, puppy, I'm doing. That's like my big bro. He's a mentor. Yeah, it's big dog. He's also in the movie. He's hilarious. That that we did with JD. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Orale. Yeah, so that's when is that coming out? I've been hearing about that movie. I don't know. That's that, that, Jimmy. That's your problem. We gotta have JD. Yeah. <laughs> well, but, but I heard. Bro, right. Shout out JD. I want to give him his flowers. He's an amazing actor. Oh yeah. He like grew into his person. I was like, oh shit. Where? He's quiet. He's a quiet ass fool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, Acting isn't easy. Acting oh, he, is not he, he, fucking he, easy, dope. bro. I'm, I'm excited. So, I'm excited for yeah. people to watch the movie because it definitely yeah. took a different like yeah. a different steps. But JD's yeah, we my have dog. that. Um, fuck it. What comedians you be watching? What? What? I'm sorry. Uh, Ralph Barbosa. We just. Uh, you kind of look like Ralph. Do people tell you that? Bro. Yeah, <laughs> all the time, bro. Yes. All the time. Yeah. Before I knew who he was, way they would send it to me. Y yo, the 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 pendejo way, I would get like not offended, but I'd be like, do I really look like this dude? Yeah, you know? no, you look <laughs> like Ralph, bro. So. I've yeah. always heard that. Yeah. yeah. We, we were talking the other day. Remember? Yeah, yeah. I I chopped it up with him. Uh, también Rene Vaca. Uh, Amazing. Yeah, That's he's big, bro, hilarious, bro. The leg day shit is wild. <laughs> yeah, that shit is funny <laughs> as fuck. That was a horny ass fool on stage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, nah, man. I mean, I'll be watching I mean, fucking Chocolate Sundays. Okay. Uh, I, we like 85 South Show. 85 funny South Show. Oh, Carlos Miller. Bro, that Carlos was a beast. Carlos is the funny. To me, in my, my type of humor, bro, Carlos Miller <laughs> has the fucking humor that I, I'm like, this is the most funniest motherfucker I've ever met in my that. life, He's dog. so calm, but his delivery is perfect, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. His shit is funny. I, I, yeah, his shit is crazy. Have you guys seen when he does a joke about fucking girls in New York? No. Well, you guys got to watch that shit. He talks about, like, yeah, York. like, you know how New York's really small? Like, the yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, he says some wild shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm a big fan of DC, but I love Carlos Miller. Yeah. 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 Amazing. También, también a big, big mention that I fucking love, bro. Like, like this is some this is some shit that I want to go watch, but I really didn't like the way they took the show out to Vegas, bro, because they made it a fucking theater setting, bro. Uh, this fool, Brincos Dieras, way. Mm. That fool is the you know funniest motherfucker, is? The, the dog. Mexican? The clown. Yeah. The clown. Bro, bro, dog, that okay, shit is hilarious, dog. Bro. Saludos bro. para Brincos Dieras, yeah, compa. compa. La neta, no, ojalá y venga, fans, neta, ojalá y venga a, a Las Vegas. Muchísima gente, bueno, muchos amigos también. Queríamos ir a su show como en, en forma. No, es que es que él tiene un, una forma de hacer el show. Where, 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 he, where, where fuck, he could fuck with people. Yeah, está como en medio. Okay, yeah, no, he's well, here's the thing. A como iban a venir aquí a Las Vegas, o van a venir, is a theater setting, bro. And you can't even drink. You have to get up and go to the fucking bar and get your drink and then come back. In, his, in the majority of his shows, fool, the, the, los videos tienen mesa, le venden botellas y que la chingada, like bottle service, bro. But also, fool, and that's a lot hilarious. Of his that's cool. Mexico. Bro, so no, that's, all that's Texas, world. bro. That, yeah, that was Texas. Texas that, was, that was all over here. I, I, it's it's kind of like the same setting where he was kind of on Letty Hernandez. Yeah. He was killing like Letty like Hernandez. Like that. Like that. Like that. Like that. Yeah, and bro. bitches at his show. Yeah, oh, bro. Yo, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, bro, that, hey, hey, that fue and, 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 and Franco Scamilla are amazing. Shout out Franco Scamilla. Yeah, Franco Scamilla, yeah. Hey, yeah. Do you watch his podcast? The Franco? 
Food, do you see when they had the blind food and the food was like, <laughs> oh, yeah, that shit like, is hilarious. And he goes, like, oh, like bitch, my mom, wait, he's like, no, we can't even say it. We're Mexican comedy. No, them fools, it's another level. Hablando bro. de Mexican comedy, big shout outs to Hermanos de Leche, wey, son una pinche chingoneria, bro. I haven't You're... watched them. I haven't seen, like, I'm glad we're talking about this because if I were to DM them, they might, right now that I'm with Los Hijos de Garcia, they might, you know, they might get clips or clips, uh, yeah. motherfucker. Yes, Yeah, no, no, hermanos de leche, güey, they're big, güey. Son grandes, güey. No, fu, hilarious. O sea, es cuentas que estás hablando con gente así de las más chistosas que tú que, que te imaginas de México, güey. O sea, así con, con un con un delivery span de, yeah, de, de, de bien, español, güey. Like, 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 fu, you wanna, like, fu, you wanna kick it. Yeah. yeah. Kick it, so you wanna no, ya yeah, tienen tienen un una, un tipo de, de no sé carisma de tipo proyección de ese de ese tipo de humor, güey. En español, pues, es, es de donde son, güey. You know, yeah, es de donde son, pero... It, it's, it's funny to me, fool, like, whenever I compare it, like, uh, with American comedy, you know, like, like, there's a certain culture over here of how that's funny. But the Mexican side of it, bro, the actual Mexican side, it, like, it's so much more harsher. It's so much more fucking... Hale- like, it... Fool. Es que bro, le entendemos, like, pues, también a la cultura, yeah, carnal. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So, like, so... They don't give a fuck about cancel culture, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They don't give so a like, fuck about that. So, like, my family being from El DF, um... Um, alburean mucho. Yeah, so definitely. Like, um, like, There like, you go, um, yeah. Like, doble sentido. Doble so, sentido, yeah. yeah. So, creciendo, like, growing up, I would hear a lot of jokes like that, and I didn't get them. Yeah, but hasta, yeah. I, fool, hasta, I, but I, before my dad became, I mean, he was always a drug addict, but, like, los tiempos que me recordaba cuando no estaba adicto, he would, cantaba, way. Mm-hmm. He could tell you a run-on about your whole fuck. You do one stupid thing, fool, all day they find something like, yeah. esa, esa cosa chiquita, Go live with you forever, yeah, yeah, Pasaditos de verga, yeah. <laughs> My mom, my mom always tells me stories like, oh, tu papá, um, fucking my dad's um, mom's name is Teresa, I mean, fuck Tomasa. And my uncle would be like, hey, wey, hey, wey, presenta la Tomasita, wey. <laughs> and, she, and, and she said that they used to make people, I told her a story <laughs> where um, I made somebody cry for clowning. Yeah. In school, I was clowning on the hunger. I made her cry. Yeah. And she's like, she's like, just like your dad. And she's like, tu papá se pasaba de verga. Like, <laughs> and my mom's like, yo no jugaba así con él. Yeah. Pero era mi esposo y lo amaba, solo conocía. Pero he's like, yeah. cuando la carrilla era otro nivel, yeah. he's like, like, llevaba la carrilla a otro nivel. Like, yeah. yeah. He's like, he's like, se pasan de verga. Y, yeah, y, and nobody's off limits. <laughs> tu hermana, no, tu abuelita. Yeah. Yeah. La... Sí, güey. Uh, whoever they see. Yeah, Boom, whatever they say. Yeah, aquí, aquí, aquí in America, there's a lot of that cancel culture for shit that que no, te, que no puedes hablar. Allá en México, güey, es, es un bueno, valería, es, madre, es un desmadre, madre, carnal. Y, y, y pues qué bueno que todavía tenemos esa cultura, güey, donde no estamos todos hechos de cristal, así tipo, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, donde todavía se puede decir unas mamadas, carnal, and it's just for laughs. Like, nomás yeah. es para reírse uno un rato. Does anybody know how that fool looks, the, 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 the clown? El brinco yeah, de eras, yeah. 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 Has, on his Instagram se quita la pintura. A veces se quita la pintura. Hey, ese güey se pasa de ver. Es pri- yeah, eh, eh, está prieto el hijo de la chica. No, when that fool, when that fool tells the lady, no, wey, the bitch a TikToker, wey. Don't let her in that end. But see, Letty Hernandez is a good sport. Oh, like, yeah, my team. Yeah. Like, off. Because see, that's what people understand. When you go to a comedy show, like, I say the word bitch a lot. Yeah. Like, my bitch this, your bitch this. Like, you can't get mad. Like, this, yeah. this is how we're playing. Yeah. But you know what's also good? Um, There's a podcast that se llama La Coteriza. Uh, you guys haven't watched it? No. That, that sounds familiar. Risa. That sounds familiar. Fool. They have an interview with Santa Fe Clan. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, they're, dude, they're funny, dog. Yeah. It's... it's Is that the one where he's saying que se fuma un gallo hoy y luego mañana y luego right now y luego... No, no, dice, dice, dice. No, wey, tienes unos güeyes ahí que trabajan con por ti y de verdad no sabes lo que hacen. And then they were talking about how Santa Fe Clan has a lot of Uh, workers. workers that he doesn't even know about anymore. Yeah. And dog, the carrilla is next yeah. level. So I'm going to Lisa because they're from, they, I think they're filming El Def and my mom. See, now that what I, the dope shit about what I do now, the lo que ahora es que my mom watches podcasts because I do it. Mm-hmm. And she'll put me out when you go to That's Mexico. That's dope as fuck. Tienes, conect, te tienes que conectar con estos, yeah. estos, estos, cuando vayas a Mexico. And she's like, y puedes hacerlo because of your platform. You can yeah. do that. Mm-hmm. That's dope so as fuck, So she's like, bro. so she be put, and she put me on like, hotel. full mamones, <laughs> wey. Pasaditos de verga, fool. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, mom, I'm like, I'm like, bro. En primero, somos no sabos. Yeah. Y quieres que vaya el DF a Charco. 
And he's like, and, and I'm like, they're gonna eat bro. me alive. <laughs> they're gonna eat me alive, bro. Yeah. Yeah, like, but I'm like, I'm down to go up, uh, um, alburiar, like. Yeah. I've man. always wanted to learn how to like cantar too, like yeah. where they make a joke where like they, yeah. everything rhymes with how they're gonna say fuck you in the end. Like, sí, it's to me, it's a fucking. It's a talent, way que que el mundo like no ha descubierto así como who's the food that came out in Los Vecinos, uh, Victor. Uh, Los the food always fixing his mullet. Laura, no, no, what's his name though, Victor? Victor, fool, you don't know Victor, you know Victor. Maybe by face. Yeah, by face, got enough. Fool, you're gonna be like, ese way is my mom, way. My mom. Oh, uh, the Mexican kid that acts like the mom and the dad? Or no? No, it's not him right here. I'm no? sorry. Okay, okay. Yeah, that confused me even more. It's he has Victor, long hair. Victor, right? With a B? Is he sure? Watch, you're gonna be like, Victor. Um, what's it called? Laura Pico? Laura Pico, I know what that is, but I don't, I don't know why I don't remember the name Victor, way. This is way. That mother, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen it? So, he, so, so it's comediante. Yeah. Mm. Have you seen a special? No, way. Four. Pasadito de... Oh, he's hilarious. Yeah. He's el... el uh, Franco Scamilla and his whole team that yeah, eso se pasan de verga when the blind fools right there and they're like mm -hmm. this yeah. no carna. no yeah, yeah fool, I mean Mexican comedy tiene un pinche lugar que ahorita yo siento que es inalcanzable mi carna, respeto porque, de verdad sí, yeah. porque, para ser honesto mi sí, respeto y, y me da mucho orgullo carna, que, que, que Mexican comedy is fucking doing it as big as it is bro la and, neta and I think it's beautiful que lo estamos viendo de, de los dos yeah. like we're seeing obviously authentic real Mexican comedy where yeah. They're from Mexico, and then yeah. us kids being from the United States, obviously we're first generation, second yep, generation. Exactly. There's like even me, like I'm coming up, so I'm still I'm still earning my way through That's right. the stages to where I'm opening up as much as influence I have, tickets I can sell. I'm 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 a student of the game, and I don't mind mm -hmm. doing my seven minutes because people understand comedy is a grind. Yeah. Oh, it's, of course, it's, it's bro. Also, and and shout out Concrete, shout out Ken Flor. You guys fuck with Ken Flores? He looks, he looks like me. He's big, fat, too. See, I'm comparing to him. I, I think I know who you're talking about. Where he was a... Uh, no, no, not that. <laughs> not that, compa. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. It was a comedy battle with him. If if this is the guy who I think I'm talking about. And some other kid. And he was saying that... Um, fuck, how did he say Fuck, they were having this funny-ass battle way. El otro guy was just talking about how fat he was, and then this fool, and then this fool was just shitting on him on something else, fool, pero dijo una mamada, güey. Ese verga, güey, yeah, ese. He, he has a, a famous ass clip, güey, with him and the other, and another dude where they went at it, fool, like on Damn, stage. I haven't seen it, but me and, like, this fool's like twinning them, fool. This is <laughs> hilarious. That's yeah. my boy right there. And he's not that much older than me, but I respect his grind, and, and it's amazing to see, and He's fucking... Uh, Fool, it's, honestly, it's bottle, res man. respects for any comediante, Spanish, uh, you know, English, Chinese, English whatever, yeah, and lo que tú seas. <laughs> Wait, to have that level of fucking comebackism, carnal, like, like being able to come back to somebody talking shit to you right then and there and then just hitting them with something that they can't recover from, carnal. Yeah. That's fucking amazing to me. Yeah, Fool, porque yo, Even that you know? or like how you, you said you did seven minutes. That sounds like you gotta write it, no? Yeah, you write it. I mean, you could tweak it. You could you could go there up there and improv, right? And then you tweak it. But I've been writing a lot. That's crazy I'm, in I'm, itself, way. So we have one way. So we have one way. But I said on the way. So yeah. we have one way. Yeah. It, it and and like and I. But I'm, I'm I'm falling in love with the craft, and yeah. and I found something that I I truly want to do for the rest of my life. With, yeah. Next to acting, yeah. and I love podcasting. Way don't get me wrong, love yeah, yeah. it. But comedy is full. It's 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 fun way. It's. Mm -hmm. I like found I found like a bad bitch that I never want to let go of. You yeah, know? Like, yeah, and I'm learning. I'm taking <laughs> notes, and, and I'm not too big to not take notes with. Right, right. I'll sit there and watch fools with 20 followers that are amazing comedians. Yeah. Who do you like to watch? Like, who do you like to? to you know what? Shout out, shout out, Joe Coy. I was like, he's he's, but fool, my some of my favorite comedians are, like George Perez. You know George Perez is. That sounds really familiar. That was a mamon way. It's a way. It's a pasta de verga. Amazing. I love 85 stars. So I like Chico Bean. I like him more on the podcast line, but like mm -hmm. Carlos Miller, out of all three of them, he's my favorite stand up comedian. Uh, yeah. yeah. He's amazing. Um, out of all of them, yeah. Uh, Shay Gillis. Shane? Shane? Shane, Shane Gillis. Shane, Shane Gillis? Yeah, Gillis. That, that was fucking Ese funny. With, with, his, with his Trump <laughs> accent, bro. <laughs> the, <laughs> hilarious. Him. Yeah. I love Ken Flores. I Ken love Flores. Concrete. Um, 
damn, that, I, I, I've been watching a lot. Oh, I saw Dave Chappelle for the first time. Yeah. Crazy, huh? That's really the go for. Uh, yeah. As said, no, my team. Of course, Kevin yeah. Kevin Hart's cool. He's he's maybe a little too family friendly for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just because me being from the ghetto, I like the I like the like, grittier gritty shit. shit. Yeah. I love Franco Scamia. Yeah. yeah. As as way for the way yeah. he smokes, for he smokes cigarettes on stage way. Yeah. That's yeah. mind blowing. Un cigarro while telling jokes. That's some Ron White shit. Fool. Yeah. Ron White used to have liquor and a cigar. Yeah. Ron I'll drink. But un frajo way. Yeah. Is that the idea, mamor? And I like that yeah, food. Yeah. Uh, um, I, I see. I never knew his name. I just knew he was like the clown food. Yeah. Brinco's yeah. Uh, Brinco, 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 Brinco Sierra. Brinco Sierra. Brinco Sierra. He's next level. He's and next then. Level. Um, I like them. You don't like like the OGs like Pryor and them like old. I old do, comedians? I do. Out of all of them, I would go with, I would go with Cat Fu. Cat Williams. Cat Williams. Yes, sir. I fucking oh, my we're team. big fans. Yeah, yeah. And, and and what got to me about him is his physical comedian style. Yeah, como yeah. Camina and way, it, como when he when he does all the mama. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the cracking the voice. The voice was the got cracking me. the voice is hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Voice. So, so todo eso, we, todo eso es, 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 es lo que me me. Man. I know it's a little outdated, but how'd you feel about his interview that it went fucking viral as fuck? That's just at 50 million I right now. I wasn't, I wasn't there for a lot of the things you were talking So it, it's kind of hard to judge when we weren't there for a lot of the things. Right. But one thing about comedy is just stealing joke shit to where... That's tough. Like the shit what he was saying about um Steve Harvey, I was like, oh. Yeah. Yeah, that that really That's made like me... Another artist I, I was like, damn. And, and don't get me wrong. I think naturally as humans, if we see a comedian... And we think something's funny, we're just gonna think about it all the time. Like, damn, that shit was hilarious. Yeah, right. Or I think as human, right? Like you, right. you, you like. So maybe sometimes it could be unintentional. Um, I don't think nobody's perfect, but yeah, I think when when they were showing, you know, right after an interview, people make other interviews and YouTube videos about it, them breaking down the certain situation. Yeah, I've been seeing all that. And bro. then I was like, oh, where yeah, like, oh shit, Steve Harvey, like. Really did really? it. I so, saw I saw a video full where they literally showed receipts for everything that Cat yeah. was talking about. Way and and like was, videos, like they were showing videos of video everything that video, was happening. Right? Yeah, yeah. I was like, God damn! Like he actually didn't go up and lie about much yeah. of the shit. I mean, you know? I mean, obviously people are gonna have their thoughts, right? Like the Cedrics and all them, but mm -hmm. I mean, it's gonna happen. I just don't people. I just don't think people thought it was gonna. I mean, I would expect it from me from him because he's he's wild, full Cat. Yeah. yeah. Wild, but yeah, he's well off. Fool. I don't think he ever yeah, has yeah. to. And I think he opened the floodgates for comedy. Like, I want him to come back. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm glad Dave Chappelle wasn't canceled forever. Mm. He's yeah. fool. Like, yeah. like, and as Latinos, we, like, or to anybody that loves comedy, your goal doesn't have to be the same race as you. To me, oh, yeah. like, a lot of people, bro, like, Cat Williams, I saw him and I was like, I mean, Dave Chappelle, and I was like, no wonder you're the goal, fool. That's dope. Yeah, no, yeah. And, and, and for my generation, I wish to see him a, a million times more because... Mm. When uh, I mean, uh, hopefully he lives forever, right? But if he yeah. ever passed, that's gonna be like my Kobe. Damn. Because love in person, wait. Yeah. Where? Where'd you see him? At at, at, at fucking Ontario. Oh, okay, okay. And damn. Fool. No, oh, I miss that's him. right. That's Ese way. Yeah, yeah, I watch all of his specials. That's coming. a perro fool. Yeah. <laughs> he le vale verga. That's a big and I'm dog. glad que le vale verga. He lives. How, how people how people talk about him is 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 peaceful fool like. The way how he just goes around and does shows sometimes for free out of mm -hmm. somewhere in Seattle just to mm -hmm. work. I'm like, bro, he mm -hmm. doesn't like his 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 life is amazing. Yeah, <laughs> way. literally at that point you're just fucking. At that point it's like you're in fucking GTA. And you're just doing side missions, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, shit. Sure, way is like okay. <laughs> Jim, he's living yeah. side you know, imagine, yeah. right? Like okay, yeah. I guess I'll do an arena tomorrow. Low key, yeah. For real. Okay, but I also want to go. Y to se le va llenar, way. No promo. Hey. You know, y se le va llenar. No promo. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I guess. Like, literally, okay, no malo ponen en el letrero. Dave Chappelle tonight fucking Full blows tonight. up the internet. Llena todo. Everybody cancels their fucking plan just to go Full. see him. You know what I mean? Like, and, and like that's the goal, you know? Yeah, hell yeah. But I'm, I'm excited. And I'm excited for you guys. You know what I'm saying? You, Shout bro. out. Com I'm, I didn't know you guys were that much fans of comedy. We are, bro. We are. Come that's on, the, I, I got a... Um, uh, when I get the new video I did, I want to send y'all some shit. Let me know what y'all think that I how I did. Hell I for did sure. a factory in West Covina for concrete. Oh, for oh, sure. And, yeah, and, and I said, I feel like I did pretty well. Yeah. Awesome, you know bro. Saying? Yeah. So I, the more I'm going, the more I learn. And sometimes, yeah. you know, like, like comedy comes with bombing. I bombed before. Like, yeah. I felt stupid up there. I was like, fuck. Yeah, <laughs> it's like you're fighting with. <laughs> yeah. It's like you're getting down for you're in the ring. Mm. And when, and, you're beating the shit out of them when they're really laughing. Yeah. Sometimes they might hit you with a bang out. Bow. 
You might not come up for that. I'll get you next round though. Next fight, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's real as fuck. Yeah, hell yeah, That's yeah, crazy. yeah, yeah. I bought having man. having the having the the will to fucking get back up and keep going, bro. That's, oh, that bro, takes I balls. The first time I really, really bummed. Yeah. Bro, I thought about it. You thought about quitting, huh? They booed you or you just you thought about quitting? No, nah, no, nah, they don't boo you, bro. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But imagine I'm trying to be funny and everybody's just like. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'll see you guys later. Man, you uh, know what? You know what? I'm going to just get back down to sit right there. Yeah, I don't know if you ever saw that, a clip, bro, of uh, Chicago. Uh, um, I think he's called Kev on Stage or something like that. Is Moreno el, 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 el comedian. He got booed at the, at the YouTube theater. He came with some 85 South Show stuff, and he was coming in after before like Clayton English. I don't know if you know who that is. No, no, no. That fool came on, bro, and I guess he was talking too much about Chicago stuff, and bro, they booed him with. Like, they look like LA gangsters. Just get the fuck off the stage and crazy shit. Like, oh, yeah. They really yeah, booed like, him, bro. Maybe he was trying too hard. Maybe. Yeah, it yeah, wasn't yeah. that funny, I mean, to I be mean, honest. I mean, I, I know a lot of places where they'll talk a lot of shit back is like New York. Oh, yeah, okay, you know, okay. they're known for like Damn. what do they call like, them? Hagglers or hecklers? Um, ha hecklers, hecklers. Yeah, hecklers. hecklers. There you go. Here you go. Even like rappers, when they go to New York, they go like, they'll bull your ass. No way. Yeah, Fuck. so that's a, but thank you guys for coming, man. This Hell yeah, oh, yeah. I love the conversation. That was dope. Bro. Nah, nah, and I'm glad. And I, I would love for you guys to come out to a comedy show. Yes, oh, sir. Man. We're there. We're there. We're there. Whenever, yeah, yeah. whenever you have one, let us know. We'll fly out here. So yeah. estamos. Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, man, this has been another episode of Chisma with Doing No Way. Los Eagles, I got to see ya. It was a good ass fucking time. It was funny as fuck. <laughs> That's right. Damn, that shit was comedy. Yes, Make sir. sure you guys tap in with them. Go run up the new album. Go run up the motherfucking new song with Fuerza. They got more shit coming. Yep. So make yeah, sure yeah. you guys go follow them. Their link will be in the description. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, man, thank you guys for coming. Yeah, thank you. Yes, sir. Appreciate we it. out this motherfucker. Bow. That's right. Yes, sir. That was.